Okay, here we are. You convinced me to play this little game of yours. Trust me, my friend, you will enjoy it. It is fun and full of adventures. Are we waiting for Sleepy Joe or are we getting in? I think he is not coming anytime soon, so let's hop in and start the new world. Okay, now what do I do? You start by chopping some trees. That's the first thing. How do I chop them? Do I just punch them? Yes, you punch them. Are you crazy? I'm not ruining these hands of mine. What will Melania say? You sound like Joe. Shut up. You know I don't care what she says. A few moments later. Did you get the wood? That didn't sound good at all, but I'm guessing you are talking about the wood. Yes, that's exactly what I said. Never mind, I got some wood. I heard you can get diamonds in this game. How do you do that? Well, it's not that easy. You have to make a pickaxe with the wood you have. Take some stone, make a stone pickaxe, and then go and then... Okay, I have them. That is cheating. It is not cheating. It's literally an option in the game. How can you say it's cheating? Hello, guys. Am I late? Of course you are late, you little sleepy guy. I just hopped in, and I am already sick of you, Donald. Guys, let's keep it low. Yeah, but he's a prick. Keep crying, little baby. Your mama didn't let you play until you finished your homework? I have more important things to do than playing with wet raccoons. Okay, that sounded a little sus. Yes, it did a bit. I was talking about your hair. I think we already knew that, so you didn't have to explain the joke, sleepy guy. Okay, guys, I'm going to build a house now. That is a good idea. Now that I have full diamond gear, what am I supposed to do? How do you already have full diamond gear? Well, he used creative. He did not. Yes, he did. Let's move on and just forget about it. Donald, I think the best thing you could do right now is leaving the game. What do you think about that? Joe, did you take your pills? You sound like you didn't. That's none of your business. 20 minutes later. Yo, guys, I just finished the house. That is what you call a house? I think it's a nice house for the beginning. You know what? I'm done for today. I'll go look on the internet on how to build a real house and come back later to build it. So are you just leaving me with this guy? Why do you talk like I can't hear you? I'm sorry, I didn't want to. Yes, I am. See you later. You know, I kind of got bored too. Let's just leave it like this for now and hop on again tomorrow. Same time tomorrow? Yes. Okay, but don't be late tomorrow. I'll do my best. Okay, bye. Bye. I can't believe Sleepy Joe made it on time. Stop calling me Sleepy Joe. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. Donald, did you watch some videos on how to play the game or are you still trash? I did watch some videos. That's good, so let's connect and play then. Guys, I'm gonna go look for a good spot to build our base. I already found one. Why would you look for another one? Barack, let's be honest about it. That is a horrible place to build a base. Yeah, Barack, I agree with Donald this time. I can't believe you used your brain for once, Joe. This is why Barack and I hate playing Minecraft with you. What? Barack, is that true? Well, um... You know what? I would rather play with Michael instead of you. Who is Michael? Your husband. Okay, that was out of pocket, Donald. So if you go look for a place to build a base, I will go for a mining session. That is a good idea. Guys, I found a village, but there are no villagers. That is impossible. You're right, I found them. Guys, I got two diamonds. That's pretty lame, Barack. I am full diamond since episode one. Shut up, Donald. You use creative? We're just trying to have a good time here. I will never use creative again, guys. I promise. Yo, Barack, do you think you can get some iron for me, too? I am collecting wood right now. Yes, of course, brother. Get around 80 pieces so we have enough iron for the both of us to get full. I found a ruined portal. That can't be more ruined than your career. That was a good one, Joe. No, but it's as ruined as your mental health. I'm about to go play Roblox with George. That's okay for me. Is George still alive? What do you mean? I'm older than him. Guys, you have to see this. What is it? I haven't seen such a big hole since Barack was president. What do you mean? I think he is talking about Yemen. Can we not talk about it, guys? Yemen, of course we can. Good one, Donald. Guys, I found a pillager outpost. Save to coordinates. It will be useful when we will do a raid. How do I do that? Oh my God, he doesn't know how to do basic things. Okay, Donald, you need to press F3 on your keyboard. Now what? So around the middle of the screen, there are some numbers. And at the beginning okay, of- I found them and made a screenshot. Finally, you're being useful. I found a cute thing looking at me. What is it? It's Joe's daughter. Shut up, Donald. Next to her mother. No way, I want to see it. I'm sharing the screen for you, Barack. As the president of the United States of America, I can deport you so shut up because you are really pissing me off. Calm down, Joe. What is wrong with you? I found a very good spot for the base, but it's going to need a bit of terraforming. Okay, Donald, give us the coordinates. So the coordinates are 830, 2300. Joe, go check out if it's a good spot, and I will keep mining. I'm on my way. I'm going to start building a house now. Donald, I seriously doubt you gave the right coordinates. What? They are 100% right, Joe. What do you mean? Somehow I'm 100% sure the coordinates are wrong. Yo, Donald, are you sure there wasn't a minus that you missed? A what? Oh, my God, he didn't say the minus. How was I supposed to know you have to say the minus? Let's move on. Take a screenshot and send it on Discord. Done. Okay, I'm on my way again. I can't believe that happened. Okay, guys, I finished the house. I'm almost there. It looks amazing. I can't wait for you to see it. Well, we would be there if you have given us the right coordinates. 
Shut up, Joe. You know what? I'm coming too. Oh my God, no way. What, what happened? There is no way he didn't use creative to build this. No, I didn't. There was a guy with your mother and sister in a leash who gave me all the materials. That's not even funny, Donald. Oh my God, Donald, what did you build? Isn't it clear? It's the White House. That is the White House? Bro, it's clear you haven't been around it in a long time. Shut up, Sleepy Joe. I live here and I'm telling you, it is nothing like the White House. Why is it empty inside? Because it's just like him, empty. Well, the tutorial was only for the outside and I'm not really creative. Fair enough. Even though it looks nothing like the White House, I gotta give it to you, Donald. It's a pretty nice house. Thank you, Barack. So because I feel nice today, I will let you sleep in my house until you build your own. Donald, you are a true friend. So I placed three beds in the house for us. So which one is mine? Well, the white one is yours because you are as white as milk. Okay, I will put my stuff in a chest here. The yellow one is mine because people say I'm yellow. And why do I get the black one? Well, come on, say it, don't be shy. Donald, are you trying to be funny because it works? Okay, Barack, I am sorry I had to do it. That was nasty. It's okay. Look, guys, it got kind of late, and I have a press conference first thing tomorrow. It got late for Sleepy Joe, so I guess same time tomorrow? Yep. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, my God, Sleepy Joe made it on time again. He's going to set a new record soon. I really enjoy playing with you, Barack, so I have Jill waking me up so I can be here on time. I think you forgot someone. Shut up, Donald. All you do is use creative. True. I will remember that. What is the plan for today? So I did some off-camera mining, and I have enough diamonds for the both of us to get full. No way, that is amazing, Barack. So I will put a chest here in the house for the both of us. Yo, Barack, did you forget whose house is this? What about shutting the f*** up, Donald? It's just a chest, it won't do anything. What about moving that chest outside? Come on, Donald, you're being a dick now. Yeah, you can take the beds too when you take that chest. Look, Donald, let's make a deal. I'm listening. So me and Joe will give you half of our diamonds if you let us do this? What? Barack, don't you think we need to talk about it first? Shut up, Joe. Do you want to sleep outside? No, but we can build our own houses. Yeah, with what material, smartass? Oh, I forgot. That really sounds like you, Joe. You son of a bitch, f*** you and f*** your house. Barack, I'm going to get materials for my house. Oh my God, Donald, you can't play the game without being a dick. Look, man, I was just being honest. It's not my problem. You guys get offended. You guys, while I build my house, I think the best thing you can do is to go to the nether. I ain't going anywhere. I'm building a house, too. You think I'm going to sleep outside or what? You know what? I'll go. Very nice of you, Donald. What do we need from there? So you need to find a fortress and get some blaze rods. How do I get them? Oh my God, Donald, you just kill some yellow things that fly. Okay, I got it. You know, I was thinking you should get some wither skulls too so we can spawn the wither after we beat the dragon and craft a beacon. Great idea, Joe. Thank you, Barack. So Donald, you have to kill some wither skeletons until they drop three skulls. Oh my God, Barack, stop trying to kill me. What? What do you mean? I'm building the house. Then why are you following me with a sword? Donald, I gotta give it to you on this one. Yo, guys, stop from whatever you're doing right now. What's up, Donald? Did you hear the news? What news? If the guy watching this right now is subscribed by the end of the video, he gets a free diamond. No way. I'm telling you. I heard of it, but I wasn't sure it was true. It is true. I did it myself and it works. That's a heck of a deal. Yo, are you sure this is what I have to kill? They don't drop any skull. The drop rate, it's pretty low. How low? Well, around 2.5%. Let me do the math here. What math? Oh my God, you want me to kill on average 120 skeletons for three skulls? Yeah, Donald, come on. You have nothing else to do. It's done. I got them. He used creative again. Donald, can you just grow up and stop using creative? We are trying to grind here. Shut up, Joe. It takes too long and it's not fun. Let's ignore him and just do our gameplay. Yo, Joe, nice house you built. Did you do it yourself or did you follow a tutorial? Um. Um, what, Joe? Come on, be honest. I did it myself. You did it yourself, my shit. Okay, I followed a tutorial, but just a little bit. Oh my God, Barack, that looks like shit. What? Don't you like it? It's just like yours. Barack, you need a pair of glasses if I'm being honest. It's literally the same house, but... I used different materials because I didn't want to use creative. Okay, I'm leaving it like that. Yo, Barack, let's go make some crop fields around the hills so we have what to eat. That is a good idea. Let's just make it look good for the eye. We don't need such a big field, though. Yes, we do. Joe, you're being sus. Donald, what are you doing? Uh, nothing, just a... Uh... Oh, my God, that is sus. I'm going to go check on Donald. No, no, don't come. I'm in the nether. You are not... I'm trading with the villagers. I hope you are not doing anything to my house. What, are you crazy, Barack? I would never do such a thing. Yo, Barack, want to see something very sus? What is it? Come up on the mountain. Oh, my God, Joe, that is a work of art. What is it? I want to see it. Come here over the river, up on the mountain. Oh, my God, Joe, did you do that? Yes, I did. Let me tell you, you did a great job distracting Barack. What? Nothing. What did you do, Donald? Thank you, Donald. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. Holy shit.
Donald, I had no idea you were going to do this. What do you think, Joe? Was it worth it? No. Come on, guys. It's just a house. You went too far. It took him ages to build it. Yeah, well, it took me minutes to destroy it. I have to tell you something, Donald. Go ahead. F*** you, you piece of sh**. Oh, my God, Barack, you're hurting my feelings. So here is what you're going to do. While I go and make sure the land you found is full of crops, you build me the exact same house back. Yemen, of course, and then I'm going to suck your dick. If you make one more reference to Yemen, I'm going to ban you from the server. Okay, guys, you seem you have your own thing going, so I'm going to leave you. It's getting late. No, 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 you are not going anywhere. What, what do you mean? I'm disconnecting as we speak. So because Donald won't make my house back, you are going to do it while he collects Enderman pearls. Okay, pearls sound expensive, so I agree on doing that. Look, man, I'm not sure I can do that if I'm being honest. Did you just ban him? No, I just kicked him. Okay, I will do it, man. You have serious problems. Yo, Joe, I bet your health problems are worse than his problems. F*** you, Donald. Yo, Barack, what are you going to do while we do it? I'm going fishing. What the f***, man? Joe, you might be right about those problems. I know what I'm talking about. Yo, guys, how many pearls do I need to get? Well, around a stack, Donald. It would have been a great f***ing idea to tell me that a little bit earlier. Why? How many did you get, Donald? It doesn't matter. Let's just get this over with. Did you finish my house, Joe? I just did, and I put a chest in the middle with a surprise in it. What is it? Go and see. Oh, my God, Joe. I'm dying to know what it is. F*** you, Joe. You're welcome, Barack. Come on, tell me. He left me some diamonds in shape of a dick. Or that's what I think he wanted to. And what do you think it is? Well, just four free diamonds. What? Four? How do you make a d with four diamonds? Exactly. F*** you guys. I'm leaving because it's late and Jill keeps saying it's bedtime. Bye. Donald, I think there is not much left to do today, so I think we should get off too. Do you know how the drone you sent in Yemen should have sounded like before you sent it? How? Oh my God, that was not even funny. Okay, guys, I have an idea for this video. Oh my God, Sleepy Joe has ideas. Get ready for this. Donald, can you be reasonable at least once in your fucking life? Yeah, Donald, come on now. Let him say what he has to say. All right, Sleepy Joe, go ahead. So I was saying, um... Yo, Joe, are you okay? Oh, um, yes. So what were you saying? W what, what was I saying? Holy shit, Donald, you were right. And it's worse than I thought. What are you talking about, guys? We're talking about your brain damage, Joe. Okay, Joe, let's try again. You might actually say something useful. Try again what? So you said you have an idea for this video. Oh, yeah, I remember. So say it already. Okay, so my idea is to build something that we think represents us. Barack, can you please remind me why did we let him think? Um, I have no clue. There's a twist to it. If you say one more stupid thing, it's going to be the last thing you're going to say. Hear me out. We build it for each other. So I build something that I think represents Barack. Donald, you build something that you think represents me and Barack. Okay, I'm in. I know exactly what I'm going to build. So it's a build battle. Yeah, something like that. It's literally that, not something like that. Okay, whatever. Okay, I am starting now. Wait, not here. What do you mean, not here? I set up a place for us to do it. Okay, let's go. Who the fuck do you call Agent Orange, you fucking old dement turtle face? Oh my God, Joe, that is hilarious. Thank you, Barack. Fuck you, Joe. How did he call you? Barack the Striker. Joe, you suddenly got funny. Thank you, Donald. Now we have 10 minutes each and the best build wins. Wait a minute, what are we fighting for? We'll see after... No way, I need to know before so I know how much effort to put in. What about the winner gets full netherite gear? And how do we get it, smart ass? Don't worry, I got you, homie, let's go. Donald, I fucking hate you. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, it's done. Barack, I swear to God I saw it coming a mile away. I was 100% sure you were going to build a wall since Joe proposed this build battle. What do you think about my build? What is that plane, Joe? The Air Force one is white, not black. It's the drone you sent in Yemen, you blind f Holy sh**, Joe, you got him on that one. Fuck you, Joe. Thank you, Barack. What the hell is that circle, Donald? What? I think it's clearer than Lake Tahoe. It's clearer than the Earth being round. Clearer than me being a better president than the both of you. Clearer than the rigged election. Clearer than your fucking war crimes. It is so fucking clear, Barack. Um, I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. It's Joe's dementia pill. Oh my God, you are right. Yo, but my pills are not even pink. Donald, it is hilarious. I gotta give it to you. Thank you, Barack. Okay, so let's vote now, but the thing is, we can't vote our own bill. I think it's clear who is going to win. It is indeed... 
Donald, I think you should vote first. For me, it is very simple. It is the greatest thing that never got to be built while I was president, the wall. Okay, now I gotta be serious and objective. It is true that my build was predictable, so there is no way I'm going to win. Anyways, between the two of you losers, Donald was pretty funny with the pill idea, but I'm not sure it really looks like he wanted to. Come on already, vote and let's get this over with. Shut up and let me finish. Yeah, Donald, come on, let him finish. So I was saying that the pill, it's not as it should be, so my vote goes with the drone. What? This is just as rigged as the elections. There is no way that drone is better than my pill. Shut up, Donald, I think the pill idea was funny, so my vote comes with you. Now what, Joe? It's a fucking draw. I don't know, man, I didn't think this far. Look, guys, since I got these in my inventory and the building game was rigged, I think I will just keep them and consider I won. Fuck you, Donald. There was nothing rigged. Stop crying. It is decided I'm keeping them. I say let's make another round, but not a building since that can be a draw again. So what do you propose? Hear me out. I know what we are doing. I'm listening. Since we need to go and beat the dragon anyways, I say the first to find the end portal wins. Okay, deal. I'm down. Okay, let's go. I found it so the gear is mine, fuck you losers. Now this was rigged, not the election or the building battle. Yeah, Donald, come on now, you are being a dick again. It was just as rigged as the building battle. You know what, just keep them and shove them in your fucking ass. At least give us the coordinates so we know where the portal is. I sent you a screenshot on Discord. I really got bored of playing right now because Donald can't be fair for once in his miserable life. Get the hell out of here, Joe. Fuck you. Yo, Donald, can you try to stop being a fucking dickhead every time we play with Joe? Well, he rigged the game. What do you want me to do? I ain't playing with cheaters. You are literally cheating on everything we play, so shut the hell up about that. You know what, Barack? I am sick of you. I'm going to play Roblox with George and leave you. Is George still alive? Bye, dead. I'm fucking done playing this game with these fucking losers. This is my fourth time in a row when I'm here on time. This is a new streak, fellas. I am starting to change my opinion about you, Joe. Oh my God, Donnie, really? Fuck no, Sleepy Joe. If it wasn't for Jill to wake you up, you would still be asleep. You know what? I will just ignore you from now on. Oh no, Sleepy Joe is going to ignore me. What am I going to do? Guys, can we focus on the game? Yeah, what are we supposed to do now that... What was that sound? You piece of shit. Who did this? What happened, Donald? Are you just acting stupid or you really don't know? I have no clue. Come on, tell me. Okay, Barack, I see how you want this to go. Oh, come on, little baby. Stop crying. I didn't blow it all up, just a little bit. Nice job you did here, Barack. Shut your little mouth, you sleepy head. Who let you talk? Go check under the house. Maybe there is more. Obama, you better start building it back while I check if you are stupid enough to put more of that shit under my house. Helena, nah. Build it yourself. Do not forget that, Barack. Anyways, since in the last episode your fat orange ass cheated and found the portal, I say, let's go and beat the dragon. What the fuck is that intonation? Uh, I don't know. That's just how it came out. Well, that is a solid idea, Obama. Let's go. Okay, let's go, you fucking losers. I'm on the way as we speak. Yeah, me too. I'm still looking for my gear, guys. Wait for me. We're waiting. Don't worry. Okay, I stopped and I'm waiting for you, Joe. I didn't, but I trust you will catch up. Donald, where are you? I'm on my way. Where? On my way to conquer this game once and for good. What do you mean? Don't worry, you will figure it out in a sec. Donald, I swear to God, if you were in the end, I'm gonna... You're gonna what, Barack? I don't know, I just felt like saying that. I taught so. Okay, I'm ready, I'm coming now. Save your time, Joe, find something else to do. Why? It's done, I got the dragon in my back pocket. Donald, you're making this game unplayable. Like, there is nothing left to do for us because you do everything in creative. Yo, Donald, did you get the wither skull so you can beat the wither too? Of course I did, you little turtle face with no future. What the hell is wrong with you? Yo, smart ass, what are we doing now? Michelle said, I still have one and a half hours of playtime and I intend to use it. Let's make a netherite beacon. Are you insane? That will take forever. Okay, you are right. Let's make another build battle then. Yeah, and you will start crying again if you don't win. No, because we are not the ones to vote this time. Donald, I know you only use half a brain, but you don't have to show it every single time you say something. Yo, Joe, shut the fuck up and let him talk. Stop trying to act cool, Joe. Come on, Donald, ignore him and continue. 
So the people watching this video are going to be the ones who judge the builds and pick the winner. Holy sh**, you actually used the side of the brain with good ideas this time. I say the winner gets full enchanted netherite gear. I mean the whole thing, sword, peacocks, shovel, armor, boots, you pants. Can stop, we got it. I was thinking the winner should get the, um, the, the... This guy needs immediate medical attention, fellas. Okay, Donnie, so I agree on that only if I choose what we build. I think you need to grow up a little Obama, but go ahead, say what you want to build. Let's build the most American thing possible. Holy sh**, that's a good idea, I'm down. Easy build for me, I got this secured, let's go. Wait for the countdown. What countdown? Three, two, one, go. Oh yeah, this is exactly how I imagined it to be. Joe, that is all you could do in all this time? Leave him alone, man. You know how slow he gets sometimes. What do you think, guys? Well, it is definitely American. That is true. Obama, I didn't do much in this time, but it seems you followed me. Shut up, Joe. This is so much more American than the flag. This is the thing that made America the greatest country in the whole world. It is the symbol of capitalism in the most capitalist country ever seen by humankind. This is America. Holy shit, you sound like Donald. I teached him well, that's all I gotta say about his build. I am proud of you, Barack. Oh my God, Donald, did you build a gun? Yes, I did. How is that American? In what country do you live, Joe? This is the most American thing out of all these three, and there is no doubt about it. You know what, Donald? I won't even argue with you and let the people watching this video decide. You won't argue because you know there is not a single chance for you to win. Okay, so comment down below whose build you think should win this build battle. And use your f***ing brain while voting, what about that? And also, if you go down to comment, press that subscribe button because it is f***ing free and it won't hurt your little hand. And go watch another video after you watch this one. Yeah, but don't go before you finish watching this whole video because that fucks up our watch time. Seems like he got it, boys. How much time do you have left of that hour and a half, Obama? Well, around 20 minutes, why? Because I'm making it shorter, bye. He got you on that one, if I'm being honest. Since when are you on his side? I'm just saying. Well, Joe, it seems there's nothing left to do for today. See you tomorrow, then. Same time? Well, I guess same time. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. We've been here for the past hour waiting for you to join and tell us who won the building battle. About that, only a few people left comments, so I think it is not very accurate. Who is on the lead so far? Of course it's me. I had the best build. Okay, then let's wait for some more people to comment. You are in second place, Joe. Good job. Yo, Donald, how many people left comments? Five. No way, that's Cap. Fuck off, Joe. Go look for yourself if you don't believe me. Yo, that's actually true, man. Well, that didn't do good at all. You know what did good, though? What? My second business, LOL. You know what didn't do as good? What? Obama's war crimes in Yemen. Yeah, man, you're right. Fuck you, losers. Go take a hike, Barack. Yeah, that way you can get closer to the people you sent to heaven. Lamau, Joe, we got him good. Nah, bro, I just won't get offended by two clowns. I'm chill. Does this look to you like a McDonald's? There are no clowns in here, buddy. I love your optimism, Donald McDonald. You yeah, let's go get those elytras since Diddly Donald beat the dragon last episode. Stop calling me Diddly Donald, little guy. I'll f you up. Diddly Donald McDonald got offended. Yeah, I just realized, didn't you get arrested just a few days ago? Don't worry about that. I have connections, bro. You know me. What about using that presidential pardon, Joe? Nah, bro, let him get out. He has connections. You know him. Yo, Joe, I'll give you a stack of netherite if you pardon me. Nah, bro, the law doesn't apply to oranges. I can't do that. i give you a billion dollars. Add Melania to that offer. Hell yes, I'd hit on that. Come on, man, not Melania. I'll do it for the billion and Melania. Half a billion and Melania? Nah, bro, no way. A billion and Melania. Come on, man. You know how much I care about my money? That's the only offer I'll accept. Man, you can't rip me off my money and on top of that, take my dishwasher too. El Mao diddly Donald McDonald. That was hard to take in. You know what was also hard to take in? I'm pretty sure it was your dick. I was talking about me being arrested, but I guess each to his own gives. Yo, I got my elytra in full diamond armor. Man, I forgot about the armor. I'm on my way. Let's get some dragon heads, too. Holy shit, Joe. Why would you want head from a dragon? I swear to God, this man is out of this world. Diddly Donald, bro, there are some actual dragon heads in the game that you use as decoration. I don't care about that type of head, bro. I don't need no head in this case. Your little winner wouldn't get up anyways. Don't you talk about my wiener, bro. I still hit down there, and I bet I still do it better than you. I don't know about that, Donnie. He's kind of not white, and from what I've heard, you stand no chance. 
Where did you hear that from? Your wife? From your wife, actually. Get on diddly Donald McDonald. Yo, what the fuck is that box that shoots at me? Diddly Donald just got over the shulkers. Why the fuck am I floating? Poor Donald McDonald. Yo, let's build some farms. What farm, Sleepy Joe? Get the fuck out of here with your stupid ideas. No, no, hear me out. Let's build an iron farm. What would we need an iron farm for? Obama, I didn't expect you to ask such a stupid question. Come on, bro, legit, we don't need it. We need it for the bacon. For what? The bacon. There is literally no bacon in this game. But Donald literally got it in the last episode. Holy shit, this guy is talking about the beacon. Oh yeah, the beacon, that's it, you're right. Yo, Joe, you should accept that half a billion offer and get the best fucking doctor you can find because your brain damage keeps getting worse every single time I talk to you. Obama, what about minding your own business? I already got the best doctor because I am the president. Let's just build a diamond farm. Holy shit, he is so stupid. You knew that already, don't start complaining now. Stop being losers and aim higher. You can't build a diamond farm, you idiot. Nah, Joe, stop the cap. No cap, Donald, you really can't. Fine, then let's build a gold farm. That is pretty hard because you need to build it on top of the nether roof. And gold is fucking useless in this game. That sounds like a lot of work. I have a great idea, guys. Joe is cooking. Get ready. Let's build an iron farm. Holy fuck, I'm looking for a better doctor as we speak. Joe, my man, you need a break from the computer. What do you think? Let me ask Jill. This guy's such a pussy. Give him a break, Donald McDonald. You stop calling me Donald McDonald, you village destroyer 3000. Okay, Barack Jill said you are right. I need a break. Come on, man, stay a little bit more. Oh my God, Diddly Donald, you really want to play more with me? Hell nah, get the fuck out of here already. Loser. Stop being such a bully, man. Oh no, I'm hurting Joe's feelings. How will I be able to sleep tonight? I'm going to play Counter-Strike with George. Want to join? I ain't playing with you low-rank losers. Then suck it. That was so predictable. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. Yo, Donald, guess what? Oh my God, Joe, don't tell me you have dementia. Fuck you, it's my fifth time in a row when I am here on time, but who's counting? Joe, why do you get so excited about little things like this? Yeah, he gets excited about little things in general, children, for example. Anyways, what did you do these days, guys? We haven't met in a while. Shut up, Donald, I don't like children. I mean, I, I, I do, but, but, you know, there is no way you can proof that, 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 anyways, for all the women out there, just be careful and take care of you. There is no way he just stuttered in front of us. Bro, he's on another planet. Can't you hear the way he's talking? Joe, my man, you need to tell me what are you on right now because it's working extremely well. I'm on Melania as we speak and we are playing something that I've heard you haven't played in a while. What are you playing, Joe? League of Legends? Oh, we are playing the nurse and the patient. I mean, the whole package. You know how freaky she gets? Of course. You act like you have dementia and she... Oh, wait a second. You don't have to act. Yo, guys, I'm still here. Obama, get this lunatic out of here. I ain't playing shit with him anymore. I ain't playing with this big, fat, puffy, orange, insane, arrested piece of shit. You are acting like you are five years old. Sleepy Joe has less than that to live. You let me know how the showers in jail work, okay? I could pay someone to take the legs off your body, but if you keep biking, it seems I don't need to waste my money. I could order a drone strike over your houses, so shut the fuck up already. You can't do shit, Obama. Obama, it's not 2002 anymore. Get over it, you village destroyer 3000. You know you love me. What the f***, Joe? I know you care. I don't give a shit about you if I'm being honest. Just shout whenever. Joe, what about those pills? And I'll be there. Okay, Donald, I take back my words. He needs medical attention. You are my love. Obama, please do something to stop him. You are my heart. This is f***ing sus, Joe. Please reconnect as soon as possible. And we will never, ever, ever be apart. Nah, no way. I know what he's doing. Baby, 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 oh. Oh my God, he's reading the lyrics. Ha ha, I got you losers. You got my dick in your mouth, Joe. What the f*** was that? Oh yeah, go deeper, Donnie. Hell nah, I'm out of here. Come on, guys, I'm playing with you. Joe, hear me out. If you access one more time, you are out. If you stutter one more time, you are out. If you are random one more time, you are out. Do we have a deal? What if I come over to your place and take a shit on your table? Fuck you and your rules, Donald. You guys, let's just make an unwritten rule to not be sus anymore and play the game. Okay, I'm down. Let's build a giant hotel and put villagers in it to make an infinite source of emeralds. Nah, no way. Let's just make an iron farm for now. The best thing to do right now is to make a trading hall and enchant our gear. The best thing to do right now is to shut the f*** up and listen to me. Yo, Donald, what about trying to be reasonable once in your life? You know we can do whatever we want to do, right? Fine, I know exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, I will build the trading hall. And I will finally have my iron farm. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm done. We have everything we need. I finished the farm, too, and now we won't have to worry about iron ever again. Guys, I built another portal and decorated it. Nice job, Donnie. Just the usual Donald being unable to do something even slightly useful for us in the game. 
Just the usual Joe eating shit and being jealous that I am better than him at every single thing he can think of. That is because I do not have the ability to think about much. Joe, I'm not quite sure you got the outcome you were looking for. Obama, I'm not quite sure when the fuck did I ask you. Joe, if you can't afford a better doctor, I can pay for it. You just have to ask. Fuck you, Donald. I am fine. I, 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 I don't need any, any... You know, when I was in school, I, I, I had a friend who looked just like you, George. Oh my God, not again. Who the hell are you talking to? Um, about that Dr. Donnie. You think you can help? I'm not sure I have that kind of money now that I'm thinking about it. Aren't you a billionaire? I am, but it looks like it won't be enough. You know what? I am sick of you, Donald. I have a meeting anyway, so I'm leaving. What meeting do you have at 11 p.m., Joe? You know what? I have a joke for you now that you asked. Knock, knock. Okay. Who's there? Nana. Nana who? Nana, your business. He got you good on that one. Solid five. Take it or leave it. Well, I guess you left it. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. Yo, Donald, hop off the realm. We don't want to play with you. Um, Joe, don't you think we need to talk about it first? Don't worry, Barack. I know how wild Joe gets. Chill, guys. I am playing with you. I was so terrified you were not going to play with me anymore that I almost turned off my computer and put it for sale. I'm not sure you are allowed to sell the computers they have in jail. If your name is Donald Trump, anything is possible. If your name is Joe Biden, nothing is possible. Joe, I don't think that's what you, uh... Shut up, Obama. He is right. So, guys, I was thinking we need some animal farms around here to get food. Okay, Joe, you do that while I go and enchant my items. I will go and build an XP farm. Great idea, Barack. You're an idiot, Obama. Go f*** yourself, Joe. What is wrong with you, man? I made you a compliment. Oh my God, Joe, what do you think it means? An idiot is someone who has great ideas. Nah, no way you are this stupid. This is why I don't want to play with this fat orange anymore. Get a room, guys. Oh, guys, the animals have such a nice place. I'm a bit jealous, not gonna lie. When did you have time to build a place for them? I didn't. So where did you put them? Don't worry, there is no way you miss it when you come back. I need to see it. I'm on my way. Where did you put them, Joe? Oh my God, Joe, that is hilarious. I didn't think you have it in you. Nah, I need to see it. No, no, don't bother. It's not that interesting. Oh my God, Joe, I'm gonna kill you. F*** you, Obama. This is for every time you talk shit about me. I talk shit about you? What about Donald? It doesn't pass a minute without him saying something about you. Don't worry about Donald. I took care of him, too. What do you mean you took care of me? Why are you talking in the past tense? Because I know you love the past when you were important more than the present when you are irrelevant. I swear to God, Joe, if you did something to my house, you're going to pay for it. It's not my first rodeo, Donald. Obama, get your ass here right now. Holy moly, Joe, you went all in on this one. Obama, I'm about to blow this dude up. Oh, yeah, Donnie, come blow me. It's been a while since I got blown by you. Keep talking, Joe. Keep talking. Looks like Joe is in the lead right now. F*** you too, Obama. Yo, guys, I, 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 oh my God, not now. I, I, I want to go and, and, and build a giant kindergarten for all the children. Stop right there, you little sh- You're about to say something hella sus, and I cannot allow such a thing. Looks like this dementia thing got him a little bit off guard. That reminds me of a joke. Let's hear it. I mean, it's more like a fact, not really a joke. Anyways, do you know what's the difference between a knife and Joe Biden? A knife has a point. Actually, a knife is sharp, but you got a point with that one. This is how you play? Okay, knock, knock. Who's there? Jack. Jack who? Jacking off. Um, a joke was attempted here. Joe's success rate when it comes to jokes is close to the chances of survival when Barack drone strikes you. And another joke was attempted here. Anyways, we are running out of food, so I'm going to breed some animals. For real this time. You better stay away from my house this time. Don't worry, Donald. I'm just saying, man. This farm is going to be super useful. That's crazy, Obama, but I don't remember asking. You're a bitch. Deal with it. Yo, guys, what animals should I put here? Put whatever, but don't forget about your mother. I will make sure to add your sister, too. That's fine for me. Yo, guys, I finished the XP farm. That's crazy, Obama. I just finished Joe's house, too. What? Did you do something to my house? Don't worry about it, Joe. Oh, my God, Donald, did you just fill my house with sand? No, Joe, it fell out of the sky. Of course I did. That is even worse than blowing it up. Then why didn't you do this to those children in Yemen? Yemen, that's a good question, actually. Because I didn't have enough sand. Okay, Donald, the sand idea was pretty good, not gonna lie. I can't believe Joe used his brain for the first time this year. Get used to it. I decided to start using my, my, my... I swear to God, the timing on these is something out of this world. Don't worry, Joe. We are already used to your stuttering. Joe, do you have limited words per day and you stutter once you reach them, or how does it work? Yeah, man, I get a limited amount of words per day, and then I go and f*** Melania and it resets. And then you wake up from your nap. You forgot to mention that. Look, guys, I gotta go out to dinner with my husband. I mean, my wife, Michelle, so I'm leaving. In this case, I'm leaving too. I ain't playing with this guy. 
Shut up, Joe, and go eat your chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Oh, I'm on my way. Bye. You should try that ice cream, too. It's pretty good. Not in a million years. Bye, Donald. Give Michael a handshake from me. Fuck you. I really can't understand how can he live with a man. You guys hop on the realm. I'm here, Donald. What about Sleepy Joe? Oh my God, he is sleeping. How is he connected to Discord if he is sleeping? Obama, you dumbass. He fell asleep after he connected. He's even connected to the server. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about it. He is in his house. Let's cook something. How can you cook something in Minecraft? Obama, you are starting to act like Joe. What is wrong with you? I literally asked you an actual question. By cooking, I mean let's think about something to do to Joe, you dumbass. How was I supposed to know that? Because it's not the first time we used it like that. Yes, but what if this time you really meant it and you wanted to cook a cake or something? Obama, you're starting to piss me off, so shut the fuck up and think about what we're doing to Sleepy Joe. Let's build a box around his house so he thinks it's night when he wakes up. And hopefully he leaves. That is the best idea you could have, Obama. I'm going to get the materials. Yeah, me too. Why would you go if I'm going? What do you want to use? I was thinking about cobblestone. Okay, so let's build two layers. Why would we do that? Because I want to use other material, Obama. Stop asking stupid questions and go build the f***ing box. What are you building it from? Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm done. Should I wait for you or start without you? Wait for me. It won't take long. 20 minutes later. Donald, it's been 20 minutes. What material does it take to mine so much? You're covering it in diamonds or what? We're covering Joe's house, not mine. So since there is no shit in this game, what material are you using? You will see when I'm done. He can wake up anytime. Come on already. Don't worry about Sleepy Joe. Have you ever seen him sleeping? Nothing can wake him up. I'm not waiting for you anymore. Fine, you can start without me. One eternity later. Okay, Obama, I am ready. I just finished it. He's going to be pissed. Nice work there. Now go take a walk while I build it. I want it to be a surprise. You're acting sus, but whatever. You're going to love it. I somehow doubt that. Obama, I heard something inside the house. Yo, guys, what's up? Look who's back. I didn't leave the server at all because I wanted to keep the iron farm going. I'm almost done. Hop in a bed, guys. It's night outside. Yo, I think I found a bug. Okay, I'm done. What bug did you find, Joe? It says I can only sleep at night, but it is night. Oh, yeah, it's very night. I will restart the game. Maybe it works. Holy shit, Donald, did you use obsidian? Yes, I did. What do you think? Yo, guys, what are you building? Don't worry about it, Joe. It's still not working. There is no way. Hey, what the fuck did you do to my house? We installed some blackout curtains, Joe. What does it look like? It looks like I'm going to blow the base up. Joe woke up and chose violence. Yo, chill, Joe. It's not that bad. No way you made an obsidian layer. Okay, that was my idea. I'm taking credits for it. Get your bunkers ready, because I'm about to turn the base into Yemen. Come on, man. We thought it was funny. There is no need to overreact. Good thing you put a layer of obsidian around it. Now it's protected from the TNT. Look, man, I'm willing to take the obsidian layer off if you drop the TNT idea. I'll take the other layer off if Donald does that. Okay, I'll accept that. So I was saying I didn't disconnect from the server so we can build a full beacon. Are you sure you didn't just fall asleep? Maybe that's how it started, but it doesn't matter. No way. What's up? Which one of you losers took my iron? What iron, Joe? The iron from my iron farm. Look, man, I am not implying anything, but are you sure you didn't move it and forgot about it? Donald cut the shit because I am about to bring Yemen here. Donald, give his iron back if you took it. I didn't take anything. I was AFK here all day. One of you did it, so give it back before I blow everything up. Obama, give the man his iron back. I didn't take any iron, Donald. That's Cap. One of you is lying big time. I swear on the Trump Tower I didn't take it. I swear on, um... On what, Obama? I swear on my country I didn't take any iron. You swear on Kenya? Shut up, Donald. You know what I mean. I don't buy your sh For the last time before I turn the base into a war zone, who took my iron? Joe, listen to me. If you take that TNT away and chill, I will give you a stack of diamonds. Hmm. Okay, that's a fair deal. I'll take it. Glad we can cooperate. Yo, Donald, how do you have so many diamonds? That's none of your business, Obama. I put the diamonds in your chest, Joe. Did you use creative again? Obama, did you want this lunatic to blow up the base or what? Shut the f*** up and move on. What did you just call me? Lunatic. It means you like the moon or something like that. Oh, okay then. Thanks for the diamonds, Donnie. Anytime, Joey. 
you know, since I didn't take the iron and neither did Donald, and you say you didn't move them, I gotta ask, are you sure the farm is working? Um, yeah, I'm like 80% sure it works. 80%, is it working or not? I think 80% is a good chance for it to work. Like eight times out of 10, it works. Joe, did you see it working or not? Not really, but I did everything as the guy in the tutorial did, so it must work. I bet it doesn't work. So let's check it. Fine, but it works. Joe, I'm gonna need my diamonds back. It works, man, it just needs a little bit more time. No, Joe, it doesn't work. The diamonds, Joe. I think I will just keep them. Okay, then I will blow up the farm. No, wait a minute. The diamonds or the farm? What if I give you only half of the diamonds and we share 50-50 the ownership of the farm? The farm doesn't work, so I don't give a shit about it. It's either all the diamonds or the farm. Choose already. I will look into it and fix the farm. Come on, man, let's make it 50-50. I would let you keep 20 diamonds for 66% of the farm if you fix it. That is absolutely not fair. This is called business, Joe. I don't expect you to understand much. That might be business, but it's not fair. Joe is right this time. It is not fair. He has three chests on the farm, so there's no way we can share 50-50. One must have two chests because I don't trust him not to steal from me. Donald has trust issues. Incredible. Okay, if that's your problem, let him keep 15 diamonds and we all three share the farm evenly after he fixes it. Nah, no way. You did nothing and you want to keep a chest? I'm the middleman, so I get to keep a chest. Okay, I agree with Obama's proposition. Okay, but only if you fix it and make it work. I will keep the diamonds until we see some progress. Take your mind off that, Obama. It won't happen. The diamonds stay with me. Okay, fine, but tell us where you put them in case you forget. The diamonds are safe. Don't you worry about them. Yo, guys, I blew the farm up. You piece of shit, we had an agreement. The agreement was, if you fix it and make it work, we split it evenly and you keep 15 diamonds. And you fucking blew it. Which means you have to fix it. Well, he is technically correct. Now, if you don't make it back, you ain't getting any diamond. I hate you, Donald. Kiss my ass, Joseph. Did you just call him Joseph? That's exactly what I did, Barry. It's been at least 20 years since someone called me Joseph. Crazy, but nobody asked. You know what, Fuck that farm. I will just keep the diamonds and that's it. Keeping the diamonds would violate the agreement we had, so there is no way you can keep them. Fuck your agreement. I didn't sign anything. But you verbally agreed with it, so it's the same thing. No, it isn't, actually. Joe, you can't sign shit in Minecraft, so shut the fuck up and tell us where the diamonds are or build back the iron farm. Donald, stop bossing around here. I will keep the diamonds and won't build the farm back. Deal with it. Joe, if you don't give those diamonds back, I will make you regret meeting me. Oh, Donald, trust me, I already regret meeting you, so don't get too excited about that. Um, guys, let's chill for a second and be rational. Shut, Shut up, Obama. Obama. All I'm saying is we can solve the problem without threatening each other. Actually, you can't solve problems when Joe is involved. He just makes everything worse. You know what, Donald? I have the best solution for your problem. I doubt that, but what is it? I mean, he has a point. Joe having a point, not even in his wildest dreams. Okay, you are right with that one. You can call me Mr. Always Right. And you can call me Mr. Goodbye. Okay, Obama, solid six. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. Donald, I just realized that you kept the netherite gear and never told us who won the building battle. That is because you were not even close to winning against my artwork, so I didn't see it necessary to state the obvious. On top of that, Joe, you could just go and use your eyes and read the comments. Also, why is this shit still around my house? I kept my part of the deal. Because it's a pain in the ass to break that much obsidian. Oh, no. Do I look like I give a single fuck about it? I don't think so. Take it away or I bring Yemen over. Joe, my man, chill for a second. Your brain can't handle so much pressure. Shut up, Donald. My, 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 my brain works just fine. We can see it very clear, Joe. Just go and take the obsidian, Donald. Stop being a dick. It takes forever, man. I would do it if we would have a full-size beacon. We would have had one if you wouldn't have blown the iron farm. Get out of here, Joe. That farm was not going to work in a million years. I could fix it and make it work. I know exactly why the farm didn't work. You know what is actually really, really funny, Obama? Um, what? A banana with a sombrero on its head. You know what? You're right, Joe. So the farm didn't work because a few days ago, when only Joe and I were on the server, he was scared of the mob spawning and I stopped the daylight cycle. And that way the villagers don't go to sleep and are not scared of the zombies so golems don't spawn. Exactly. Oh my God, I can't believe it. So in the end, it was just as expected, Joe's fault. Yo, fuck off, Donald. There were nights when I couldn't sleep because I would just dream Enderman. There is no way Sleepy Joe couldn't sleep. 
I'm telling you, man, those black dudes are pretty scary. Who do you call a black dude? Chill, Obama. I'm talking about the Enderman. I actually have a solution for your sleep problems. Oh, really? Yes, get the fuck out of the server and let us play in peace. Stop trying to be funny, Donald. It ain't working. Come on, Donnie. He's just a little bit more sensitive. That's it. I'm just playing with you guys. I know Joe is a pussy. You guys, what do you think about building a full netherite bacon? You mean beacon? Bacon. Beacon. Bacon. Beacon. Bacon. Shut the fuck up already. It's a beacon, and yes, I am down to build a full netherite one. Has it crossed your mind for even a second that it will take days to mine so much ancient debris? Has it crossed your mind for even a second that I will use creative? You know what? I'm going to go and get it done. Good. That way we get rid of you for a few days. Joe, there are a lot of Endermen in the nether. Are you sure you want to do that? Shut your mouth, Obama. Oh, you were right. I can't do that. Obama, you opened your mouth, you stupid bitch. Now you have to go. Or we can use iron like normal people. I am anything but normal. Now that's something we can agree on. I'm going to go get it, you fucking losers. You're not able to do anything useful. But don't use creative, okay? Of course I won't. That's how you know me. I am a man of honor. Obama, let's build something great while he's gone. Want to build something great? Build a statue of me in this case. Let's build the White House. We already have the White House. We talked about it, Donald. That is nothing like the White House. You know what? I think Donald has a great idea. And I think we should build it right by his house so everyone knows whose house is that. Joe, that is a great idea. I'm very happy to see your brain is still working after all. I'm happy to see we're finally getting along, Donald. I'm actually surprised that Joe agreed on that one. Of course I agreed. Donald is a really important person for me. That sounds like bullshit. Obama, since you have nothing to do, what about breaking that box around my house? We had an agreement. Come on, Obama. You are the only one that does nothing. Stop complaining and start digging. I'll blow your house up if you don't do it. I don't negotiate with terrorists. You don't do what? That lie was fatter than Donald. Even I agree with this one. It wouldn't be the first time, Obama. Come on, move your ass. Fine, but only this time. Yo, Donald, I will build more like a picture of you, not really a statue, but it will still be nice. That's okay, Joe. I'll still take it. You're gonna love it. 20 minutes later. Okay, I'm done with your stupid box, Joe. I just finished Donald's face, too. Oh my God, Joe, you did an amazing job. I know, right? I want to see it. Send a screenshot on Discord. Nah, I want it to be a surprise for when you come back. How did you make it so accurate, Joe? I mean, you added every single detail. It is one-on-one. -on -one. You know me, Obama. I, 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 I am, I... We got it, Joe. We got it. What else do we need, guys? We have enchanted items, a beacon soon. Donald's one-on-one -on -one portrait. We have everything. We don't have an emerald farm. We should build one. We also don't have totems. You can do a raid. You're right, guys. Let's make the emerald farm first because it's easier. We need a huge bamboo farm to get an infinite amount of sticks. I get the Fletchers, you get the bamboo, Joe. That's exactly what I was thinking about. I didn't know you can read minds, Obama. That's easy. I can do that, too. What's easy? Reading minds? Yes, I bet I can read your mind, too. No, no way, Donald. That's cap. No cap, Joe. Think about, um, how many hours do you sleep a night? Okay, now what? So now Obama will count to three, and we say it at the same time. Okay, let's do it. Wait a minute. I didn't sign up for this. Come on, Obama, don't be a party pooper. Fine. One, two, three. 18 hours. hours. Holy shit, did you just say 18 hours? Yes, I did. You sleep way much longer than I thought. This only proves that you can't read any mind. It's not my fault you sleep for the whole fucking day. It's not the whole day. I still have six hours remaining. All right, think about the one thing that you love the most. Hmm. All right, I'm thinking about it. Okay, so now Obama will count to three and we say it at the same time. This is the last time I'm doing this. There is no way you get this one right. One, two, three. Chocolate, Children. chocolate. What did you just say, Joe? You told me to think about the one thing I love the most. Did you just say children? Yes, I did. What is wrong with that? The fact that you think there is nothing wrong with that makes it even worse. There is nothing wrong in loving children, Donald. Okay, then can you describe a little more? I don't know, man. I just love being around them. There's nothing wrong with that. And, um, and, and smelling their hair and, and, and having them jump on my lap and all sort of things like that. Okay, Joe, you are sus. Just stop. What? He is not sus, Obama. He is straight up telling us he is the imposter. What do you mean I am the imposter? Joe, just shut the fuck up and do what you have to do. I can't wait to see your statue, Donald. It is so fucking accurate. Why do I get the feeling you didn't actually build a statue of me? 
He really did, and he's right. It's very accurate. I don't know if I can trust you, Obama. You can trust me, Donnie. I give you my word. We all know how much your word is worth. What is that supposed to mean? It means I have all the netherite needed for the beacon, and I'm coming to see what you built. I'm done with the giant bamboo farm. You use creative again, you piece of shit. What? I didn't use creative. Not you, Joe. Donald did. Oh my God, Joe. Do you like it? You said you built a statue of me, not your auto portrait. No, Donald, that's a 100% accurate representation of you. Obama, I can't believe you agree with this thing. I mean, I had nothing to do with it. He built it alone. But do you agree with it being accurate? Um, you can be like that sometimes, but not all the time. Okay, if I'm being honest, you are right. Come see my bamboo farm. Fuck your bamboo farm, Joe. I am doing something important here. I'm finally done with the Fletchers. And boom, now we have a full netherite beacon that we don't deserve because you used creative as usual. You know what, Obama? You don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can't not use it, you dumbass. Then deal with it. You guys, guess what? We don't care, Joe. Move on. Right now, you're only proving that the statue is accurate. Okay, it's accurate. So what? You should build one next to your house, too. Anyways, I'm gonna leave now because I have a date in 30 minutes. You don't have shit in 30 minutes, Joe. Stop the cap. Who's the date with? The bed? That's none of you business, Obama. Is she over 18 at least? Hell nah, you know I'm not into that shit. You are disgusting. Do you really think he has a date? Not in a million years. Yeah, you're right. See you tomorrow, Donnie, bye. See you tomorrow, Barry. I'm wondering why people call me Barry. Yo guys, hop on the realm. Obama, can today be the day when we play without Donald? Obama, when did this guy wake up? Can we play once without you guys being complete idiots? You know who's the problem here? We all know you are the problem. Shut the f up, Sleepy Joe. Nobody tells me when to shut up. I'm the president. It's been like 15 seconds and you're already fighting. Can you keep it for later? If Sleepy Joe stops talking shit, I can do it. You throw this on me? You are the only reason I want to quit this game forever. Oh no, what are we going to do without you? Enjoy the game? You know what, Donald? I'm busy right now. Can I ignore you another time? Guys, come on now. Let's be productive this time. What do you want to do, Obama? Build a statue of me? We already have something like that. I thought we clarified that is Joe in the last episode. Since you losers have mental problems and talk trash to each other for no reason, I say let's make a joke contest or something like that, and whoever wins is crowned as the king of jokes. There's no need to do such a contest because it's clear who's going to win. And the others must build a crown or a throne for the winner. You guys better start building that crown. I was about to say the same thing. Wake up, Joe. This is reality, not one of your fairy tale dreams. And since now we kind of have a lot of emeralds, we can make the crown or the throne out of them. Oh my God, I have an idea, Obama. We're not building a gold farm, Donald. Oh yes, we are. I'm not helping you. Obama, while the big orange is building the gold farm, what if we build a real emerald farm? You mean a raid farm? You know exactly what I mean. I don't know why you make this conversation longer. I'm not doing that either. Obama, you're starting to piss me off. You don't want to do anything beside playing your stupid game? What do you mean? I will do something while you build the farm. I won't just hang around. Oh yeah? What are you going to do? I'll wait for you. That means you're literally doing nothing. Okay, fine. I will think of a way to keep the score for our little game and fix some things around the base. There is nothing to fix around the base, Obama. There is to fix your stupid iron farm and the animal farm because you forgot to add the animals. Oh, yeah. Now that you say, I really forgot about the animals. There's only your mother and Donald's sister in here. Good one, Obama. If you make these kind of jokes on that little game of yours, you better get ready to build something because there is no way you win. We'll see about that, Donald. I personally think I will win because I'm obviously the funniest one. Joe is wild today. Okay, so while we build this shit, let's play a little bit of Would You Rather. I'm down, but I'm asking the questions. Shut up, Obama. So would you rather date a 25 years old or a 15 years old? 25, Joe. You are the only one who needs a doctor here. Good point, Donald. Would you rather win $10 million now or $5 million in two years? Joe, I don't think that came out the way you wanted to. What the f are these questions? Would you rather be president again or live your life as you do now? Okay, Joe, you're not asking the questions anymore. You are too stupid. My turn. Would you rather lose your sight or your memories? Definitely my memories. Nah, that's Cap. You already lost them. What do you mean? Nothing. Go on, Obama. Would you rather lose your long-term memory or short-term memory? Okay, Obama, you're asking stupid questions, too. I thought we are clear Joe lost both. There is no need to push it. 
Yo, fuck off, Donald. I didn't lose any memory. You didn't do what? Okay, let me ask you something simple. When is your wife's birthday? Good one, Obama. Um, hmm, I just, I, I, okay, I don't know. But who remembers that? He surprisingly has a point. Okay, then when is your birthday? How can I not remember my birthday, man? It is on, um, it's in the summer sometime. Um, oh yeah, I remember. It's on 4th of July. That's the national day, you dumbass. You can't even remember your own birthday. Okay, I lost some memories, but not all of them. Anyways, I have one question too. Would you rather sleep with a seven with blue eyes or with a 10 with brown eyes? I would take the seven, Donald, but how long until she turns eight? Oh my God, Joe, just, just shut the fuck up and don't say another word. Joe, my man, I knew you were stupid, but I didn't want to believe you were this stupid. What, what did I say? Just shut the fuck up and build your thing. I'm sick of you losers, tell me what to do. Just do your thing, Joe. This is the last time. 20 minutes later. You guys, this thing looks like a giant dick. That's crazy, Joe. I wonder if I can lick it. Is there a way you can stop being sus, Joe? I would accept some chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. I'm done with the things I had to do here. I'm done too, but I want to stay a little more and look at it. Get some emeralds if you want to stay more. You're going to need a lot of them for my throne. You should get that done a little faster. That crown doesn't build itself. If Obama wins, we should build a missile for him. Fuck off, Donald. Finish that and get here already. I'm coming in a second. I need to test it a little bit. So how's it gonna go, Obama? So here we each have three copies of your mother. Fuck you, Barry. Okay, I'm coming, I gotta see it. You also get a bow and some arrows. We all say our jokes and shoot to kill a cow from the person you think made the funniest joke. And when I run out of cows, I win, right? Not you, but yes, you got the point. Can I vote myself? Come on, Donald, that's a stupid question. Of course you cannot. All right, I go first, knock, knock. Who's there? Little girl blue. Little girl blue who? Little girl blue Joe Biden, which is me. Hell nah, Joe. You crossed the line with this one. That's not even a joke. You damn right, Barry. That's reality. Okay, my turn. Roses are red, violets are blue. Joe likes little girls and sniffs them too. Okay, my vote goes with Donald this round. And mine with Barack since your joke was out of pocket. I didn't even say my joke. Man, just vote and move on. Fine, I vote for Donald. Okay, my turn again. Um... How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? You need to step up your game, Joe. There is no way you win with these kind of jokes. Ten tickles. Weak as fuck, Joe. My turn now. Uh... It's not your turn, Barry. Stay in line. What is the difference between Santa and Joe Biden? My gifts are not for free, if you know what I mean. Children actually want to sit on Santa's lap. That's why on Christmas I like to dress up like Santa. Joe, you deserve a big fat ban for these jokes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but... I agree with Barry. So it's finally my turn. Um, if Joe's wife is called first lady, what do you call his mother? I vote for Donald, GG guys. What the fuck, Joe? I didn't even finish the joke. I know, but it was stupid, so there was no need to finish it. Come on, man, let him finish. Okay, you can finish, but my vote still goes with Donald. Okay, so if your wife is called first lady, what do you call your mother? Catherine, that's her name. Joe Mama. Okay, Obama, you just proved I deserve to win. Thank you. Now start building, because I don't have all day. Joe, you piece of shit. Look what you did. How is it my fault that your game is as weak as mine? You were supposed to vote for me no matter how bad the joke was, you fucking idiot. There is no way you wanted to rig this game, too. Oh, I forgot. Obama told me to vote for him no matter what. Barry, tell me he is lying. Well, he's not. I'm sick of you winning every competition we have. So stop competing against me. You know you stand no chance. Just shut the fuck up, Obama, and let's get to building. This is all your fault, Joe. You know what, Joe? You're free to go. Barry will build the crown because he wanted to rig the game. All right, that's fine by me. Bye. That's not fair, Donald. Oh, but what you wanted to do was fair. Fine, I'll build it, but don't expect anything crazy. Obama, my expectations from you are close to zero, so there is no way you disappoint. I'll build it over your house. That is the best idea you ever had. A few moments later. Okay, you piece of shit. It's done. Come and check it out. Holy mother of who built that thing. You did an amazing job, Obama. They don't call me Barry the Builder for nothing. Cut the shit. There is not a living thing on this planet that calls you Barry the Builder. Well, you should call me like that from now on. What about calling you get the fuck out of the server before I ban you? What about calling me? I knew he doesn't have the game, but I didn't know it's this bad. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. I just connected.
I am so happy you guys are here. I built something while you were gone and I can't wait for you to see it. What did you build, Joe? Also, you did a great job with that crown, Obama. I didn't see it coming. Thank you, man. You are really nice today. What did you build, Joe? So I built another nether portal, but I did it a little bit better. There is no way you could build something better than me. That's Cap. You know that wasn't such a good portal. Where did you build it, Joe? Next to Donald's. Holy sh! you're right, Joe. It actually is good. Okay, it looks better than I expected. How did you do it? I thought you will never ask. We really don't need to know. So first I made some glass with the sand I found in Donald's chest. Then I colored it red and crafted some red glass panes. After that was done, I went to the end and got some obsidian, then to the nether and took down some of those trees or whatever they are. I also got some nether bricks from Donald's chest and used creative to get some blackstone because I got bored to get all the materials. Okay, so far you acted just like Donald. Literally, he thought he was me by getting stuff from my house. You're forgetting the part where he used creative like you do for literally every single thing you do. Okay, that too. I did it for all of us, so shut up. Anyways, after I was done with the materials, guess what happened? I started building. Of course, I followed a tutorial, but who cares? So, yeah, I built it like really fast because it was pretty easy, actually, once you get all the materials you need, and here we are. Joe, my man, we didn't need so many details. Like, okay, we got it. You built it for us. Good job. Now shut up and move on. But it looks nice, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Anyways, what should we add to our world now that we pretty much have everything? How can you say we have everything when we have close to nothing? What the f***, Joe? Tell me something we don't have. We don't have a McDonald's, for example. Why would we need a McDonald's in f***ing Minecraft? So you can have a place where it's normal to be a clown. I could feel like home in bed with your wife. It's obvious she likes clowns. Okay, let's not go too far with that. Now seriously, Joe, why do we need a McDonald's? I don't know. Maybe there are some kids that want to eat there. Don't make it about children again. You know I love children. You love children a little bit too much if you're asking me. There is never too much or too many when it comes to children. Or too old. That's not quite right, Obama. Once they are past 15, it's game over for me. They are no longer children. Now that you're saying that, you know what I was thinking about? How can I know such a thing if you don't tell me? What if you go to your administration and tell them you really like children a lot and you would love to step down as the president and name someone else who is way more capable to run this country and only thinks about its people and loves Mexicans and wanted to build a giant wall but changed his mind because he had a change of heart? Someone slightly younger who doesn't have dementia and doesn't think all the time about children and chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. Also someone who should have been president as we speak, but you rigged the elections. Donald, I know I have some problems, but honestly, you have yours too. Anyways, I'm going to build some mini biomes. I think they look really nice and would add value to our world. I will build a giant dick house so Donald can sit on it. If you build such a thing, I will not only make this base look like Yemen after Obama did his thing, but as soon as I am president again, I will order a drone strike over your house. Donald, I think you are a little bit aggressive today, if I'm being honest. If I'm being honest, I don't remember asking for your opinion. Joe, why don't you build a fountain or something nice? There is no need to build my d Oh, don't worry, Barry. I won't make it black. F you, loser. All right, I'm down to build a fountain. What the f*** are we going to do with a fountain? We're going to drink water out of it. You're going to drink s*** out of it, Obama? It is literally useless. Okay, now that I know Donald doesn't want it, I'm going to do it just to annoy him. That way I have a reason to ban you from the server. Nah, you won't ban him. He did worse than that and didn't ban him. That's Cap. I didn't do anything to get me banned. Oh, no. Let's try and remember a little. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I got you losers. You got my dick in your mouth, Joe. What the f*** was that? Oh, yeah. Go deeper, Donnie. Yo, guys, I, 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 oh, my God, not now. I, I, I want to go and, and, and build a giant kindergarten for all the children. Stop right there, you little s***. You're about to say something hella sus, and I cannot allow such a thing. I just finished Donald's face, too. Oh, my God, Joe, you did an amazing job. I know, right? All right, think about the one thing that you love the most. Hmm. All right, I'm thinking about it. Obama will count to three and we say it at the same time. One, two, three. Chocolate, Children. chocolate. What did you just say, Joe? Okay, I said some things, but at least I was being honest. Add one more to that list, Obama. I'm building a McDonald's for Donald McDonald and for everyone who wants to eat there. Joe, shut the f*** up and tell me if you would say the N-word for a million dollars. Bro, for a million dollars, I would stuck three big fat c*** up my ass and then suck them. 
Or you could just say the N-word. Have you thought about that? Do you give me the N-word permit, Obama? Hell not, Joe. You ain't getting no permit. Then I would say the N-word for free just to piss off Obama. Or you could just say it for a million dollars and still piss me off. Okay, we have a deal. I'm sending you my account details, Donald. Wait a minute. I never said I'm giving you the money. Then stop asking stupid questions. Those are the only questions you little brain can process. Obama, would you say the N-word for a million? I mean, I can say it any time if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, you're right. That just reminded me about the difference between you and a shovel. I want to hear that, Joe. A shovel is a digger, Obama is a... A what, Joe? Come on, don't be shy. You know exactly what, Obama. Stop acting stupid. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have to act. Joe, my man, go grab yourself a coffee for that and put it on me. What about you coming to my McDonald's and eat here after it's done? All right, we have a deal. Joe, would you rather kiss Donald or kiss me? It depends, man. What do you mean by kiss? I mean the whole thing. Like, with the tongue and the whole package? That's exactly what I mean. Okay, then it's an easy answer. All right, let's hear it. None of you losers, you ugly as sh How can you say I am ugly when literally all women want is me? That is because you have a shovel shop, you stupid bit. What is that supposed to mean? It means there is not a single dishwasher on this planet that would see you as a potential partner if it wasn't for your money and fame. How is that a problem? I made the money myself. Are we just going to ignore the fact that he called all women a dishwasher? Shut up, Obama. You know this guy never hesitates. Don't make me call you the N-word, Obama. Stay in your lane. I dare you to say the N-word, loser. You don't have it in you. I have nothing to prove to you, little monkey. Okay, Joe, that was offensive. You need to chill for a second. Oh, was it really offensive? Hell nah. F*** you, Obama. I'm too chill to get offended by two old men. Anyways, let's stick to the point. Which one would you kiss, Joe? Okay, fine. I would kiss you, Obama, because you look like you take care of yourself, not like this fat piece of sh**. Be careful how you talk about me, because you're about to lose one of your McDonald's clients, and you only have two. All right, I'm sorry. You'll get a Big Mac on the house at the grand opening. Just remind the cashier, because he tends to forget things. Who is the cashier? Do I know him? Of course you know him. It's me. Why are you asking? I was just wondering. Don't mind me. And when is that grand opening, Joe? I only have some things to get done in the interior and to make sure I have enough of everything because nobody wants to run out of food on the first day. How many Big Macs are you expecting to sell on the first day? I was thinking about 50. Um, are you expecting a lot of people? No, not really. So, you know, it's only me and Donald, right? That's correct. So what do you need 50 Big Macs for? You know how that fat pig gets? I'm here to make sure he leaves happy and drops a tip as fat as him. If you want a tip as fat as me, you better stop calling me a fat pig. Donald, I sent you a link on Discord on how to get a joke because it's clear you can't really take it. I'm gonna watch it just before I go to sleep next to Jill. Fuck you, Donald. Well, it seems I'm not the only one who needs to watch that video. Okay, losers, I have good news and bad news. What do you want first? Um, let's hear the bad news first. But it doesn't make any sense if I don't tell you the good news first. Then why the f*** did you ask? Because I was hoping you were gonna choose the good news first. And that way you felt like you had a choice when you actually never had. Joe, my man, you're starting to act like Donald more and more. Now that's insulting, Obama. Okay, so the good news is that the McDonald's is ready and the bad news is that the truck with the supplies is not here yet, so the grand opening is postponed for tomorrow. There is no way I waited this long just for you to postpone the opening. Shut up, Donald. It's not my fault. I'm gonna need to have a chat with the owner of that company. That being said, see you tomorrow, losers. Yo, Obama, want to build a KFC or something next to his McDonald's so we can steal some of his clients? Donald, you are so toxic. We are literally his only clients. Okay, you're right. Anyway, see you tomorrow at the grand opening. See you tomorrow, you fat pig. I'll drop a fat log on your table if you call me a pig one more time, Obama. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. I've been thinking about that Big Mac all day, and I can't wait for the grand opening. Yo, what the f*** are you doing, guys? Oh, hi, Donald. Don't tell me you opened the McDonald's without me. Um, no, we, um, Obama say something. So, Donald, we are at the new McDonald's. Come here and get something to eat. You piece of s***. Why didn't you wait for me? Okay, so let me tell you how it happened. I have an explanation. Yo, Joe, I just left the call with Donald. Let's do something to him. All right, what do you want to do? Let's connect to the realm earlier and open the McDonald's without him. He will go nuts. No way, Obama. I'm not doing that to him. He is too good of a friend.
What? That's not how it happened. Shut up, Barack. That's how it happened. You ain't putting that on me. He needs to know the truth. So Donald... Obama, get your ass here right now. What the f*** do you want, Joe? It is 10 in the morning. Hear me out. Tonight, Donald will be very excited for the grand opening. Of course he will. He eats 10 Big Macs a day. Let's hop on the realm earlier and make the grand opening without him. That will drive him insane and hopefully he will leave us forever. What is wrong with you, Joe? I can't do that, man. He's one of the only two friends I have. If you don't do it, I will ban you from the server and deport your ass back to Kenya. Come on, man. You can't do that to me. You know how much I work to cover up all that sh**. Don't force my hand, Obama. You know I never hesitate. Okay, fine, but this is the first and the last time I'm doing such a thing. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Joe, you piece of sh**. How could you do such a thing? You know how much I enjoy playing without you, Donald? I was hoping you were gonna get mad and get the f out of the server. Did you forget who's paying for the server, you idiot? I can afford 20 bucks a month. I am the president, after all. Of course you can, but you will lose everything you have here, including the McDonald's. Oh, I didn't think about that. You don't seem to do much thinking lately, Joe. Isn't your teleprompter working anymore, or what's the deal? F*** you, Donald. My teleprompter is working just fine, but I don't like using it when I play with you. Stop the cap, Joe. You use it even when you eat. All right, that's true, but how else would I be able to tell the chef how good the food is? Don't worry, Donald. You didn't miss much. It took him ages to order. Why did he order? It's literally his restaurant. Trust me, you don't want to know. I actually really want to know. All right, so... Okay, Obama, let me order first because I'm a little picky. All right, man, you do you. I will just wait in line. Hello, guys. You are our first customers. Welcome. What can I get for you? Hello, sir. I'm happy to hear that. Anyways, I would like an Egg McMuffin with a Diet Coke and a Blueberry Muffin. Um, unfortunately, we only have Egg McMuffin for breakfast. No way. This is bullshit. It's your first day and this is how you treat your customers? We're sorry, sir. This is our policy. If you disagree with it, you can complete a form online. I ain't completing anything online. I want to talk to the manager. Joe, do you think that is really necessary? Yes, it is, Obama. Stay out of it. All right, let me get him for you. Hello, I am the manager. What can I do for you? It is unacceptable to sell Egg McMuffin only at breakfast. This is just how our policy works. If you disagree with it, there is a form online that you can complete and submit to our superiors. Fuck this sh I'm done with you. Get me back the cashier. Bro, I can't believe you're this stupid, Joe. Oh, wait for it, Donald. You haven't heard it all yet. Fuck this sh I'm done with you. Get me back the cashier. All right, we are really sorry for the inconvenience. So is there anything else I can get for you? So I would like a Happy Meal with a hamburger and a Diet Coke. All right, is that everything? I was wondering, does the hamburger have pickles? Yeah, it has pickles, ketchup, and onion. Okay, so I want it without pickles or any sauce, and do not forget about the apple slices. All right, is that it? That would be all for now. Okay, will you be eating here or take out? This time it'll be here, but don't get used to it. All right, it will be $369. Will you be paying cash or card? Let's do it with the card. Um, unfortunately, our card reader doesn't work at the moment. Oh my God, this is the last time I come to your stupid restaurant. Okay, here is the receipt. You can take a sit and we will bring the food to your table. All right, thank you. All I got to say is congratulations for your patience, Obama. It was actually kind of fun. Now we can say he is the clown of his own McDonald's. Good thing you are here now. That makes two of us. Shut up and come take my order. All right, sir, you are our third customer. What can I get for you? Joe, you can stop the act, man. Sir, we respect all our customers and we treat them equally. Man, you have some serious problems. Anyways, I want three Big Macs with fries and a large Coke. All right. Anything else? That would be all. All right, eat here or take out. You know what, I'll have an ice cream too. Oh, um, unfortunately our ice cream machine is broken at the moment. 
There is no way your machine is already broken. Shut the f up, Donald, and forget about the ice cream. Anything else? That's all, and I will be eating here. All right, so one Big Mac is on the house, and for the rest of them, it'll be $10.99. Yo, what the f Why didn't I get anything on the house? Unfortunately, we don't offer free stuff to brokies. Here's $20 for that joke, buddy. Thank you. I'll wait at the table. Sir, you will have to pay first. What do you mean? I just gave you $20. Yeah, but you said it was for that joke. Joe, shut the f up and bring the food over before I come and slap you. There is no need to get aggressive, Donald. 20 minutes later. Yo, what the f is taking so long? I'm coming now. We are a little bit short with the staff, so it takes a little longer. Whatever, man, just bring that food already. Here are your Big Macs and the Coke. I was literally starving. So, Joe, do you plan on hiring someone? I was actually wondering if you guys want to work for me. Holy sh! this guy must have forgotten to take his damn pills. Me, Donald Trump work for Joe f Biden. On what planet do you live on? Is this a parallel universe or something? I don't know if you remember, Joe, but it used to be the other way around, so there's no way I work for you. You guys are so f***ing toxic. I really need new friends. Bro, you can't make friends even with a f dog. How is that possible when I'm talking to one right now? Woof, woof, Donald. Woof, woof, f you. Donald the dog. What are you still doing here? Go find your new friends and give us a break. I already found someone better than you. Now that's something quite rare. Who's better than me? Melania. Um, Joe, do you have seven billion dollars in the bank? You know I'm not even close to that. So what makes you think that Melania will even talk to you? Maybe he's talking about some other Melania. Nah, I was talking about his Melania, but he's got a point. I was trying to help you, Joe. Okay, then Manchel is definitely better than you losers. Uh, do you have a nine inch long dick? Um, I'm not even close to that either. So what makes you think that Michelle will even talk to you? Maybe he was talking about some other Michelle. Nah, I was talking about his husband. I can't believe you fell for it literally 30 seconds later. Now I'm really starting to think he forgot about his pills. What pills are you talking about, Obama? And there's my point. Joe, go tell your wife you forgot about your pills and leave the game. You had enough for today. I'm gonna do that, but it's because I want to, not because you told me to do it. I honestly don't give a f Joe. See you tomorrow, losers. Obama, you know what time is it? Um, it's 11.42 p.m. Why are you asking? Nah, bro, it's time to leave. Okay, you have a point. Yo, guys, hop on the realm. Guys, I just realized that in the last episode, we left without you dropping a review to my five-star restaurant. Um, did you open another restaurant, Joe? When do you think I had the time for that, Obama? I already have to manage one. Then it's a fucking McDonald's, not a five-star restaurant. Okay, fine. But you still left without the review. Are you sure you want me to drop a review? As long as you're honest, I do. Okay, so first of all, the door handles are weirdly floating. The ice cream machine is broken. The cashier was nice, but kind of old for this type of job. The seats are uncomfortable. Oh, wait, you actually can't even take a sit. Well, that is because it's Minecraft, Donald. You can leave that out. Okay, I'll give this to you. Where was I? Oh yeah, the drive through is the other way around, so if you don't want to get out of the car to get your food, you're gonna to need to buy a car with the wheel on the right side. Oh shoot, I guess the guy who made the tutorial was British. You can leave that out too, because I'm about to change it. So after all, you don't seem to want my honest review. Come on, Donald, just finish it and leave it as it is. And the worst part of it was that it took 20 minutes for three Big Macs to be done. So that for me is a big turnoff because it defeats the purpose of the fast food, I guess you can call this McDonald's a slow food. Maybe because it's ran by a sloth. This is how you play Obama? Okay, so to everyone present, today's subject is slavery. Shut up, losers. So to sum it up for the first experience, I would give it three solid stars out of five. Come on, Donald. Nobody will go to a restaurant with a three-star review. I feel nice today, so it gets four stars from me. Obama, what's your problem? Why not five stars? Well, because I waited in line a decade, even though there was only one person in front of me. So how is that the restaurant's fault? You need to hire more people. Well, I asked you to work for me, but you losers got offended. Obama, what the f are you doing here? Um, I am just, um, uh, expanding our land a little bit. Joe, come here, you need to see this. Oh my God, Obama is nostalgic. We all make mistakes. That's how you call it, to make yourself feel better? Yep, how would you call it? Well, I don't know how I would call it, but I know how I would call you. I'm good. You don't need to say it. Okay, I won't say it. Since when do you listen to Barry? Who's Barry? 
The pills, Joe. I took them already, but I still don't know who Barry is. So, Joe, in this call, there are three people, right? That's correct, Donald. So it's me, you, and who is the other person? Oh, you mean the Village Destroyer 3000? There is no way you didn't read that off your teleprompter. Well, guess what, Obama? I actually did. There was no way your little brain came up with that little joke that you tried to make. It was actually my big brain. What? Um, what? Anyways, I was wondering if you guys want to build the Trump Tower. Donald, I heard you're facing seven federal charges. How did that happen? Oh, give me a break, Joe. You sent your people after me because you know there is no way you win the elections against me again. The only thing you're going to win against me is the elections. You're just spitting out facts, Joe. Oh, shit. I wanted to say something else. Bro, I am 10 steps ahead of you in every aspect of life. More like 10 miles, bro. I'm happy to see you're back down to earth. Yeah, 10 miles, especially on your way to prison. Okay, that teleprompter is too overpowered. I'm down to vote for it to get removed. Good point, Obama. I vote for the removal of the teleprompter. I vote the same as Donald. I veto that shit. There is no way you get rid of my teleprompter. Your veto doesn't apply here. Oh yeah? Why is that? Because I said so. Shut the f up and get rid of it. I ain't getting rid of anything, Donald. Get over it. You know, we could just get some teleprompters too. Do I look like I need one? I mean, it could help you in court. It would help you more when people ask you why you bombed Yemen. I think you went a little too far with that one, Donald. Shut your mouth, Joe. You and I both know he had that one coming. It's all right, Joe. I'll just blow up his stupid f tower like I did Yemen. Then I'll call some Mexicans to fix it for him. Obama, don't you dare call the Mexicans or destroy my beautiful tower because I swear to God I will tell Michelle about the time we went to Miami and you cheated on her with an illegal Brazilian woman who was also secretly a man. She was not illegal, Donald. She just couldn't speak English very well. I think you mean he, and he was definitely illegal. I can sense them from miles away. Guys, what does all this have to do with the teleprompter? Shut your mouth, Sleepy Joe. This is between me and Obama. Besides that, don't you have some kids waiting for you on your secret island? Joe, you have an island? I do, but there's no kids on the island. That is straight cap, Joe. Last time we went there, you had Nintendo Switches set up in your basement next to some Capra Suns. Those were for my staff, Donald, not children. You can't fool me, Joe, especially when your favorite artist is Michael Jackson. Donald, don't disrespect the dead. You're right, I love Billie Jean. Guys, I wanna build a strip club. I would love that, Joe, just no kids. Where are we gonna find the strippers? I think we could recruit some at the local elementary school. Jesus Christ, Joe, I said no kids. I promised Donald, no kids. Why don't we get some lunch ladies? I heard they're great with their hands. I was thinking we should get some nurses. We could have them wear fishnets and high heels. Nah, I'm f terrified of needles. How about we try the gym teachers? Don't be such a put, Donald. You almost started World War III for Christ's sake and now you're terrified of needles? No, Obama. I was making America great again. Not the America I live in, though. Go f yourself. I got your wife for that. Haha, <laughs> good one, Barry. Thank you, Joe. I hope both of you die to creepers and lose all of your sh You insult me, Donald. You know I always have blast protection on my armor. I swear to you, Barack, I will go to the nether and bring back three of those black skeleton heads and spawn a wither inside your ugly ass house while you sleep. Your cheating ass will probably just give up halfway and use creative to spawn one in. Oh, by the way, Donald, my destroyed ugly ass house would still look better than that sh tower of yours. You wish you could build something as beautiful as my tower? Donald, your tower in real life looks like sh What makes you think it looks any better in Minecraft? I'm surprised your old ass can still see the tower. At least my donger still works. Too bad your brain doesn't. I know you're not talking to me, Donald. I'm the only one here who actually pulled our troops out of the Middle East. What did your orange ass do? Argue with a bunch of fat for four years. Please, everyone knows I'm an ally of the LQBDZ plus community. Donald, it's called the LGBTQA plus. I knew that. I was just testing to see if Joe knew. Of course I knew. I love sandwiches. Damn it, Joe. You're going to lose over half of your supporters for the next election if you don't get your shit together. Don't worry, Barack. If his old ass keeps falling down, he will be sitting in a wheelchair playing bingo at a nursing home by then. And you'll be sitting right next to me, literally sh your pants while you argue with Hillary again. That bitch is just mad because I saved this country from being ran by a woman. Honestly, doesn't she know that this is a man's world? Come on, Donald, she isn't that bad. You're only saying that because she gave you a blow in the White House. 
No, that's not why Hillary is a very talented individual and any country would be lucky to have her as their leader. Obama, did you get a teleprompter? No, that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, I got blackmailed by Hillary to say these nice things about her or she'll tell my wife about the blow in my trip to Miami. Listen, guys, fuck the politics. How about we all take a trip to the nether and find us a blaze spawner or two? Sorry, Joe, I can't. The FBI is here to arrest me. I told you blue lives don't matter. They do, just not these lives. Anyways, I gotta run. They're already breaking down my door and asking me to come out. It's okay, Donald. You'll be fine. Don't worry. We have nice cells. I know it's okay, Joe. I already packed my bags yesterday. I'll be damned if I let these losers throw me in prison for trying to make America great again. You can keep telling yourself that if it makes you feel any better. Don't be rude, Obama. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. I'm the first black president for crying out loud. Half black, you may be chocolate on the outside, but you're still one of us. One of what, Donald? Shit. Hold that thought, Obama, they're inside my home. I gotta go. I hope they catch his orange ass sooner rather than later. I hope so, too. Barack, are you ready to go to the nether with me? Actually, I think it's movie night with Michelle and the kids tonight, so I'm gonna have to leave you hanging like one of my ancestors. Oh, all right. Um, I'll talk to you on Discord tomorrow, and while you're gone, I'm gonna work on building the strip club. You do that. Just don't f with my house or anybody's children. I want Obama. Relax. Nothing bad will happen while you're gone. Okay, then. Bye. Bye, Barack. Make sure to tell Michelle next time wear some better perfume. Last time she smelled like Donald's wife. Fuck you, Joe. Joe, can you hear me? Are you ready yet, or did Father Time finally catch up to you? Chill, Barack. I'm ready, but where's Donald? He's busy getting molested. Um, I mean, arrested. Did the IRS finally catch his ass? Yeah, and many other organizations want his big head on a swivel. So are you Nimrods ready to go to the club, or what? Donald, I thought your fat ass was arrested. Yeah. How are you playing right now? You should be in a cell next to a big, strong black man. I am currently in prison, but I was granted computer privileges for the time being. Well, do you need me to bail you out? That won't be necessary, Joe. These charges against me are just some fake news spun by the media to make me look bad and ruin my campaign for the next election. We don't really care how you're here, but get ready because we're about to hit the club. So Joe actually got around to building that strip club. Of course I did. I love to throw money at younger women, and it's one of the only times my donger actually works. As much as I want to watch someone swing themselves around a sweaty pole while Joe gets a raging boner, I've got much better plans for today's episode. We're not interested in what you're selling. Come on, Donald, what did you prepare? Did you play GTA when you were younger? Are you kidding me? I spent thousands of hours in that game. So, want to have a trip there? There is no way you can make that possible. I'm down, but how do you plan on taking us there? I thought you'd never ask. Gentlemen, I present to you the Transportinator. What the f***, Donald? It's just a box with a door. Donald, I don't think this is how things work. Shut up and get in the Transportinator. I'll get in, but it won't work the way you think it will. Just close your eyes, Joe. All right, but... Yo, what the f***? I can hear the music. Shut up and close your eyes, dipshit. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Okay, prepare yourselves. Three, two, one, open your eyes. Um, I'm still here. I don't hear the song anymore, and where the hell is Obama? Yo, guys, where the f*** are you, and where are all my items? Okay, let's try again. Keep your eyes closed this time, Joe. They are closed. Uh, three, two, one. Did it work this time? No, it didn't. Come on, we need to leave fast. Go, go, go. Three, two, one, open up. Yo, where the f*** were you guys? I thought I was stuck here. I can't believe I'm saying this, but Obama, I missed you. Okay, so... We are in creative, but we cannot break anything or take anything. Is that clear? Oh, um, yeah, that's clear. Joe, is that clear? Yes, Donald, it's clear. All right, we have arrived, gentlemen. Welcome to the gorgeous city of Los Santos. Feel free to explore this wonderful place and enjoy your limited time here. Okay, Donald, we get it. You love this god-awful city. I think this place looks pretty nice, Barry. Thank you, Joe. Anytime, Donald. Are you two done writing each other's co- Obama, you seem like you need to relieve some stress. How about we go to the beach and relax? Oh shit, is that a cluckin' bell? Is this an early birthday present, Donald? No, Barack, I don't give a single f about your birthday. This is just a coincidence. Go to hell. You'll join me soon after. Don't act like you forgot about what you did to Yemen. Yeah, Barry, you really did a number on Yemen. F you guys. I'm going inside to get some chicken and I am not sharing. Come back to get me when it's time to leave. Come on, don't be like that. We were just kidding around. Come on, Joe, let's go look for some hookers around the city. 
All right. Hey, remember that time you built a gun back in episode five and you called it the most American thing ever made? How could I forget? That was my second favorite thing I ever built. The only thing better is my amazing tower. Would the tower still be your favorite if you built that stupid ass wall? Joe, for that wall, I would leave your wife and mine forever. Many hours later. How about we go smoke one under that bridge over there? I would love to, Sleepy Joe, but I got enough charges on me right now to make Jeffrey Dahmer look like a saint. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. You know exactly how bad it is because you are the one who sent his people after me. I would never do such a thing. Anyways, it's getting late. Let's go grab Obama before the sky starts to look like him after the trip to Miami. I'm sure that chicken lover is fine. You saw how excited he got when he saw that clucking bell. The only thing he has to worry about is if they have a working toilet. I suppose you're right. Nothing can get in between his Reese's peanut butter cup looking ass and fried chicken. That's exactly my point, Joe. Oh, hey, guys. Come sit down with me and have some of these lemon pepper wings. I know your fat ass wants some, Donald. Obama, it's time to go home, so quit stuffing that rat meat down your throat and let's go. Do I get to bring the wings? No, Barack, you can't bring anything back with you. What kind of bullshit is that? Besides, I just ordered another batch of wings. Damn it, Barack, we don't have time for you to go back to your roots. Donald is right, Barry. We need to go back home. You old fucks never just let me have a black moment. You can cry about it later to Michelle after you get off. Now let's go, you chicken lover. All right, make sure you go back to the exact same spot you were when you arrived here. How am I supposed to remember? Where was I standing? You were right in front of me, Joe. Oh, okay, thanks. So are you sure you didn't take anything? 100% sure. Um, yeah, of course I didn't take anything. Obama, why did you hesitate? I didn't take anything, man. Just take us home already. Close your eyes, losers, before I give both of you a black eye. Fuck you, Donald. Three, two, one. And we're still here for some reason. I told you not to take anything, Obama. You didn't tell me I would die. Good thing I made the server stupid proof so you losers wouldn't lose your items when you die. Obama, you got to admit, it came in handy this time. Shut up, Joe. You made that mostly for your old ass. You should have listened to me, Barack. Hey, man, I just wanted to bring back some of those delicious wings. Just be grateful I saved you from losing all your items. At least I actually earned most of my items. Unlike your orange ass who just went into creative to get everything because you're complete garbage at this game. Stop the cap, Obama. You and I both know I'm a literal god at Minecraft. No, Donald. He does have a point. Shut your dirty mouth, Sleepy Joe. Go take your meds and try not to fall while do it because you got worse knees than Derek Rose. Hey, don't disrespect a brother like that. Obama, he is not your brother and I did not disrespect him. I was merely stating a fact about our friend Sleepy Joe. Oh, okay then, you may proceed. Come on, close your eyes and let me take us home. I will fall asleep if I keep my eyes closed any longer. Three, two, one, and finally we're back. I think the wings just kicked in. I gotta go find a toilet as soon as possible. I told you so. Anyways, now that we are back, we should probably go do something productive before Joe's bedtime. Well, how about we go find some pillagers and take all of their shit and maybe do a raid? That's a terrible idea, Joe. Why don't we go blow up a village and turn all the villagers into slaves so we don't have to do the dangerous stuff and have those losers do it for us because I'm sick and tired of dying to some bullshit. You're starting to sound like Donald except the blowing up part. That is definitely you. Yep, that's 100% the berry I know. Well, I had to try. Obama, tell me, does Michelle still wears the pants in your relationship? Only on the weekends. Hey, do you guys want to help me get some pandas? Why exactly do you need pandas? So I can reunite you with your family, that's why. That was a terrible joke, Donald. What are you talking about? That was hilarious. Isn't that right, Joe? Sorry to break it to you, Donald, but that joke was straight dog shit. You guys must be smoking something fierce because that shit was top-tier comedy. No cap. You have the IQ of a baby carrot, Donald. Joe, you insult me like that again, I will blow your house up just like Barry used to in his old days. You don't have the balls, you bag of oranges. Well, actually, a bag of oranges has a lot of balls. But Donald also does have a huge pair of balls. I've seen them myself. Wait, what? You've seen Donald's balls? Oh yeah, they were like two giant grapefruits just dangling from his donger. Barack, you told me you would keep that a secret. My bad, Donald. I just couldn't take that picture out of my mind. As long we all agree that I have the biggest pair of balls here, it's all right. While you losers talk about balls, I think I'm gonna go take a nap. Uh, see you tomorrow. Don't worry, I won't bang your wife while you sleep this time. Well, that was very sudden. You know what else is very sudden, Obama? 
Your diabetes. Nope. Predictable as fuck. Are you guys finally ready to play Minecraft again, or do you two losers need to get permission from your wives first? I can't believe you would insult me like that, Donald. I already got permission. What about you, Sleepy Joe? I think the old timer fell asleep. Joe, are you there? I didn't steal your damn Pokemon cards, Donald. Quit interrogating me. I'm innocent. Did you make sure to take your meds today, Joe? Of course I did. I never forget. I seriously doubt that because nobody was talking about Pokemon cards. Well then, speak clearly, you fat pig. Calm down, Grandpa. Otherwise, you're gonna pop a blood vessel. Don't worry about him, Obama. His old ass will settle down after he finds out where we're going on today's episode. Where are we going, Donald? Back to Cluck and Bell? No, you chicken lover. We're not going back to Cluck and Bell. Well, I'm still pissed about having to leave behind my chicken wings. We've been through this, Barry. Those wings were made from a rat's ass, not a chicken. That meat was still as good as Michelle. No cap. Ew. So how could you eat that shit? A point for Joe right there. Anyways. Today, we're going to one of the greatest cities this country has to offer. Oh my God, are we going to Brazil? How the hell are you the president when you don't even know that's another country? Oh wait, you rigged the elections. I remember now. Imagine losing the elections and then starting to cry all over the internet that it was rigged when in fact it wasn't. That's pretty wild if you ask me. You know what else is wild, Obama? Your husband. Donald, you're using that line 10 times a day. Step up your game a little bit. Yep. Barry's right on that one. I only speak facts, but you losers can't handle it. So that's not my problem. You can tell yourself that as much as you want. Anyways, any chance we're going to Vegas? That's for another time. Today we're headed to the beautiful and sexy city of Miami. I don't really want to go to Miami. It's a little too crowded for my taste. Obama, don't you want to relieve some of that stress? You really need it. I can relieve that stress at a blackjack table in Vegas. Come on, Barack, on our last trip there, you drank so much on my yacht, you puked on a sleeping dolphin. You can't tell me you didn't enjoy yourself last time. I did, but I don't want Michelle to find out about the affair. Don't ruin this for me, Obama. I'm tired of being stuck inside this god-awful White House all year long. I don't know, man. I still really think we should go to Vegas instead. Barack, I swear on my life, you will have an amazing time in Miami. All right, Joe, I'll go to Miami for you, but no pictures or girls. We have to keep it low key this time around. Thank you, Barry. I owe you one. That's what brothers are for. If you two lovebirds are finally finished, then I suggest you to get inside my amazing machine. I hate that damn machine. It makes me feel like I have a butt plug glued in my ass. That seems quite wonderful to me. Don't start acting fruity again, Joe. Both of you shut your face holes and get inside the machine. I must say, Donald, your machine looks so much better than it did in the last episode. Don't lie to him, Joe. This thing looks like my shit in the toilet after Taco Tuesday. Obama quit being such a damn buzzkill and buckle up because we're about to take off. Only if I get to press the buttons. Do not touch a single one of these buttons, Obama. Why don't you stop cock-blocking, you fat ass, and let me press the damn buttons? Barack, I'm not letting you press the buttons. Come on, Donald. I'll be careful and follow the instruction. I promise. You often tend to break your promises. Just let him have this one, Donald. There's no point in arguing with his autistic ass. Fine, but don't screw this one up. Otherwise, I'll send Michelle pictures of you on my yacht in bed with two strippers. Trust me. I know what I'm doing, so there's no need to worry. I believe in you, Obama. What the hell are you doing, Donald? I'm praying, Joe. I feel like Obama is going to do something stupid. Get ready, gentlemen. Say Miami on three. One, two, three. Miami. Man, I think this f thing is broken. Are you sure it works, Donald? Yo, where the f did you guys go? Guys, I don't think I'm in Miami. You are not in Miami, Joe. Then where the f am I? Obama, where the f did you send me? Maybe you're in Miami. I'm definitely not in Miami, Joe. At least you guys actually got to leave. I'm still here inside this stupid thing. I knew your ass would mess this up somehow. It's not my fault this thing works worse than a McDonald's ice cream machine. So Donald, how is it over there? Well, I think I'm in the Wild West. That actually sounds quite nice. You're right, Joe, this place is wonderful. There's guns and booze everywhere. It almost reminds me of home. Donald, quit enjoying yourself and tell me how to fix this pile of junk. Don't you dare get mad at me, Barack. You're the one who broke my machine and got us separated. Don't hate the player, hate the game. I can hate on whoever the hell I want because I'm the greatest man to ever rule America. Stop daydreaming and help me fix your crappy machine. Since you two are busy arguing, I'll go search around this city for an elementary school and give some of my candy to all the children. Don't you dare go near those children, Joe. I just want to give them some candy. Joe, you are one sick bastard. 
Forget about Sleepy Joe and just listen up so you can fix my machine. All right, Donald, what's the first step? So first you should start by pressing the button on the- Guys, I found something almost as good as the school. It's a children's soccer field. Damn it, Joe, I thought we just went over this like three seconds ago. Come on, Obama, ignore Creepy Joe and start pressing the buttons on my machine in the exact order I tell you to. Hey, I'm not Creepy Joe, I'm Sleepy Joe. Joe shut up already because unlike you, Donald is actually trying to be useful. So what were you saying, fat ass? Oh shit, is that a horse over there? Come on, Donald, what do I do next? Man, look at this cutie. I bet he doesn't even know how to fix it. No, you idiot, I just got distracted by this beautiful horse. We've got better things to do than make friends with a dumb horse, Donald. Relax, Obama. There is always time to make a new friend. Well, now is not the time for that. I think I'm gonna name him Charlie. If you want me to fix this stupid shit, you're gonna have to start talking now because I'm losing my patience and I would rather let you rot in there if I'm being honest. All right, calm down, man. There is no need to overreact. Did you press the top right button like I told you to? Yeah, I did that five minutes ago when you first told me. Are you sure it's been five minutes? Because in that case, you're gonna have to press it again. You think I hold a damn timer right next to me to see how long it takes for you to talk? Now that you're saying, that sounds like a good idea. Okay, it's decided. I'm leaving you there. Come on, man, don't get mad. I was playing. Start talking now or rot in there, Donald. This is your last warning. Man, this guy just can't take a joke. Okay, I'm leaving. Shut the f up, Joe. Come on, Barry, don't leave us here. I told you that was your last warning. Come on, I'll tell you now, I promise. Go ahead, you piece of shit. So press the button on the right top corner once and then the button on the bottom left corner twice. All right, what's next? Now press the middle button exactly three times. No more and no less. You got that? Okay, it's done. Are you guys done yet? I'm getting tired and my knees hurt, so hurry up and get me back home. Shut the hell up or I will not tell Barack how to bring you back. Chill, man. I'll let you have your moment. The only thing left for you to do is to jump three times, and while you're doing it, say Donald Trump is the only U.S. president that can make America great again, and then press the middle button once. Seriously? Can I just click my heels three times to bring you guys back home? No, you can't. This last step is very important. It must be done perfectly in order to bring us back home. There is no way I say that shit. Well, that's the only way you can bring us back. Great, then you can rot over there. Come on, man, it's not that bad. Just say it and it's all over. It's not like this is recorded and put on YouTube or some shit like that. If anyone finds out about what you are about to hear come out of my mouth, I'm gonna kill you both with my own hands. Don't worry, Barry, your secret is safe with me. Fine, I'll do it. Donald Trump is the only US president that can make America great again. Thank God I'm back. I really missed you guys. That is very touching, Joe. We didn't miss you though. I really need new friends. Anyways, how was the trip though? I wish I could have gave some kids candy. If I was back in the office, I would arrest you immediately. For what? Trying to give children my delicious candy? I would arrest you for how f dumb you are. And somehow I still kicked your ass in the election. So how dumb does that make you, Donald? Oh, please, we all know you rigged that shit. That's exactly what happened. Uh, but unfortunately, it was only in your dreams. Speaking of dreams, it's kind of late. And I gotta be in bed before Michelle gets back home, so see you tomorrow, losers. Oh shit, Obama is right. It's way past my bedtime. See you tomorrow, fatty, and don't forget, keep your ass closed, you pig. Shut your dirty little mouth, Sleepy Joe. I'm sick of these losers. Did you losers join the server yet? Yes, we joined Donald. Now tell us what was so important that it couldn't wait until tomorrow. Yeah, Donald, I was just about to go rub one out, then take a power nap, so make it quick. So I managed to fix the transportinator after your stupid ass broke it in the last episode. I didn't break anything. You're just garbage at building things. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Anyways, pack your shit because we're about to hit Vegas. There is no way you finally came to your senses after 70 years. There is no way you're still talking and not packing your shit. I always wanted to visit Vegas. I heard it's better than a kindergarten. If you continue like that, you're staying home, Joe. Come on, man. I was just playing a bit. Yeah, cool story. So I have to admit, I didn't think you losers would actually want to go. Are you f***ing kidding me right now? Vegas is like the best city in the world. That place also has more hookers than LA and Miami put together. Now that's something we can agree on, Joe. Let's go, I'm ready. Come on, hop in the transportinator and let's hit it. This thing better work this time, fat ass. 
Well, it works perfectly fine when it's not used by a complete idiot. Then how the hell are you able to use it? For your sake, I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. That still doesn't answer my question, Donald. Close your eyes and buckle up, losers. Oh my God, I'm finally going to Vegas. Three, two, one. Vegas, here we come. Holy shit, it actually worked. Of course it works when it's used properly. Now let's go do some gambling and win some money. Screw that shit. Where are all the hot babes hiding at? Joe, we came here to enjoy ourselves, not to scar children for the rest of their lives. I'm not gonna hurt anyone. I just wanna have a little fun with someone. Hopefully with someone of legal age. Anything is legal as long as you don't get caught. That is seriously messed up, man. Nah, bro, you tripping. Obama is right, creepy Joe. This is supposed to be a boy's trip. Oh my God, is that the Eiffel Tower? I always wanted to see this thing in person. Joe, you are a total dumbass. Well, that makes it two of us, face. This is just a copy, Joe. The real one is in Paris. Stop the cap, Donald. This looks exactly like the one I've seen all over the internet. Because it's literally a one-on-one -on -one copy. Nah, I don't believe you. Let me Google it. I knew this guy has problems, but I didn't know it's this bad. It looks like it's getting worse every day. Well, I'll be damned. The tower is in Paris. I guess you do learn something new every day. So I was right, like I always am. Shut up, Donald. You just got lucky with this one. How the hell do you get lucky with geography? Okay, true, you got this one. And the one before and the next one and so on. So hear me out, because I'm about to say something stupid. I don't doubt that. I meant smart. Anyways, do you two losers want to go to Paris in the next episode? As expected, it was a stupid question. Why is it a stupid question, you idiot? Because it is already planned where we're going in the next episode. How was I supposed to know that and where are we going? I thought we clarified I'm 10 steps ahead of you. That was on your way to prison, sh face. Obama, let's go find some casinos because this worm is getting annoying. I was about to say the same thing. Yo guys, come check out this cool looking fountain. No, I don't think I will. Why isn't this thing shooting out any water? Because it's Minecraft, Joe. So what? It should still be working just fine. Yo, why the hell am I answering your stupid questions? Can we just go to the freaking casino already? We did literally nothing since we came here. Okay, you've got a point. Let's go. Hey, Barry, do you see that place over there? What am I supposed to be looking at, Joe? At that place right over there, the red and white one. I think he's talking about the circus. What the hell is so important about it? It's important because it means we can finally reunite you with your family. The monkeys, in case you didn't get it. I got it. Don't worry. I was just making sure. I seriously hate you losers. That's Cap. You know you love us and you couldn't replace us even if you tried. I would sell you right now for a pack of cigarettes. I once got laid with your wife for a pack of cigarettes. F you loser. Well, sleeping with Michelle definitely makes me a loser. Getting owned by Joe is something else. Have you guys seen any hookers around here because I can't find a single one? Well, we forgot to bring Michelle. I'm not interested in men. You know what? At this point, I will just shut up and ignore you. Well, it's not like you have something to say. This guy is just like my 10 years old nephew. That's crazy, Joe, but who asked? Because I definitely didn't. Melania. No, she didn't. She's not even here. Seriously, now, where are all those hookers? What would your wife say about that? What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, so don't be a snitch. Well, you're only going to find them in the nighttime, so you're kind of screwed on that one. The hell I am. I'm going to go find some, so see you guys later. I hope he's never coming back. Well, unlucky, because he probably will. Can we go to the casino already? Um, I have a confession to make before that. Oh my God, how much, Donald? How much what? How much do you have left to live? F*** you, loser. I ain't dying anytime soon. Well, that's a pity. Do you still want to go to the casino? That's literally why I came here. Well, that's crazy, because we can't go to any casino. Why is that? Because the map doesn't include interiors, so we can't go. There is no way you got me here by saying we're going to gamble. And now you're telling me we can't do the thing I came for. I guess you got to deal with it. You got to make up for this. Well, I actually prepared a little game in case this would happen. So tell me about it, because I'm about to lose my mind. It's pretty simple. If you win, you double the diamonds you bet. And how do I play? You say a number, then I say a number, and whoever says the bigger number wins. But the trick is we have to think of the number at the same time. OK, fine. I bet five diamonds on 326. Yo, what the hell? I thought of 15. I guess you win. OK, pretty easy. Now I bet 20 diamonds on 67. I thought of 65 this time. It looks like you won again. That was pretty close. Yeah, anyways, let's go again. 
Okay, so I bet all my diamonds on 96. I'm feeling lucky today. How many diamonds would that be? Two stacks and seven pieces. Well, it looks like today isn't your lucky day because I thought of 98, so bring those diamonds over here. There is no way this shit wasn't rigged. That's Joe's specialty, not mine. Bro, I can't give you all my diamonds. Oh, you're gonna do it or I'll leave you here. I hate your stupid game, Donald. The house always wins, Obama. Hey guys, I'm back. Ah, oh, shit. I didn't know what was missing. So did you find those hookers you were looking for, Creepy Joe? Yes, I did, Donnie. And did you do the job? Well, they were a bit too old for me. What do you mean they were too old? Well, I think none of them were below the age of 15. You think or are you sure? I'm not sure because I forgot to bring my glasses with me so I couldn't check them out properly. It's too bad those glasses can only fix your vision and not your messed up brain. Well, my dentist said my brain works perfectly fine. What did your psychiatrist have to say about that? Man, that bitch was talking complete nonsense. For example, she was saying I don't belong within 100 feet of anyone under the age of 18. Like seriously, can you believe that bullshit? Oh, I most certainly do believe it, Creepy Joe. That wasn't even the worst part. That's something hard to beat. She then got mad at me because I started getting a boner when I started talking about my granddaughter's friend in her middle school. I can't believe this guy is the president. That's just how democracy works. Do better next time, idiot. That's crazy. Now get in the transportinator because we're about to leave. What? But the party is just getting started. That's just how democracy works. Obama, do you want to go home? Hell no. Nah. I want to go find some hookers now that I lost all my diamonds. See? We are two against one, so there's no way we're leaving now. If you two are not inside in five seconds, I will leave you here without even a blink. I will deport you for this one, Donald. Quit being delusional and get ready to teleport back home. Three, two, one. Obama is a bum. Well, it was a nice trip after all. I really missed Vegas. It wasn't as I expected it to be, but I'll still take it. Your opinion doesn't matter anyways. That's crazy because I wasn't even talking to you. I don't remember anyone asking, though. Obama, what do you think about starting a new world without Donald? Joe, stop acting like a 12-year-old and grow up. Anyways, did you guys end up going to that casino after all? Let's not talk about it. Why not, Obama? I won two stacks of diamonds. Bro, how can you brag like that when you literally rigged the game? What do you mean? I would never rig my own game. To me, it sounds like Donald was a douchebag again and did something stupid. I only did the thing I am best at, making money. Can you give me some of those diamonds back, though? Michelle would kill me if she finds out I lost so many diamonds gambling. I could, but you'll have to do something for it. I would do literally anything, I promise. Okay, so you're gonna have to lick Joe's hairy chest. I would rather die in the worst way possible. Well, it looks like he's actually getting killed after his husband finds out what he did. I was already waiting for him with my shirt off. Hmm, was it the waiting part? Come and give me a kiss, baby. Joe, are you doing all right over there? Oh, crap. I thought I was muted. Joe, what were you just doing? Um, I, 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 um, I wasn't doing anything. We literally heard you, Joe. Come on, don't be shy. Um, I, I, I was just trying some experiments in VR. What kind of experiments, if I may ask? That's not important at all. Yes, it is, Joe. Now tell us all the details. Okay, I'll tell you. I was watching some porn. I always knew you were a loser. Bro, you're half dead and you're watching porn? Everyone watches it, so quit judging me. Not at 80 years old, though. Well, that only shows how good my health is. Too bad your mental health isn't as good as that. I have to ask, do you do this kind of stuff inside the White House? Don't worry about it, man. Speaking of the White House, I think now would be a good time for me to tell you guys where we're going this episode. Please tell me we're going to an elementary school. No, you dumbass. We are headed to D.C. Bro, I am literally here. What do you mean we're going to D.C.? In Minecraft, you idiot. Oh, and why would we do that? So we can visit the White House, you moron. Nah, I think I'll pass on this one. Why is that, Joe? I just don't feel like going anywhere today. Stop screaming I'm boring and get your ass in the transportinator before I ban you from the server. Fine, but you owe me one for this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. It feels great to be back. I really miss this place. I miss the maids more than the house, if I'm being honest. There is no way you were screwing the maids, too. You're not special, Obama. Stop believing that shit. Okay, we saw the house. Can we leave now? Shut the hell up, Sleepy Joe. Let's go inside because it's so hot out here, my balls are starting to look like two shriveled up grapes. Do you mean raisins? I literally said shriveled grapes. Obama, shriveled grapes are called raisins. What the? Since when is that a thing? Can you knucklehead stop talking about grapes and just follow me inside? 
but they're raisins. Shut your mouth and get in. Joe, how come you never stay here? Because this place looks terrible. You must be smoking some good shit because you're tripping right now. Do you see how amazing this room looks? Like I said, it looks terrible. Well, I think this house looks just as beautiful as I left it. You mean how I left it, not you. No, I'm the one who made the house look this good. Obama, you've been out of office for over five years. How could you have possibly made this place look good? I don't know, I just did so quit asking questions, fatty. Yo, stop calling me fat. I'll do whatever the hell I want, fatty. Don't test me. Or what, you gonna deport me? I'm starting to consider it. Yo, how the hell are you going to deport him? I am the president, not you. That will definitely change in the next elections. There is no way I lose again. I'll beat your ass like I did last time. Bro, shut the f up with your rigged elections. I never rigged anything. Anything but the elections. I can't believe you're still crying over that. He's just a baby. Obama, you really want to get deported. You can't do a damn thing to me. Keep that same energy for when I get out of this dump. I ain't scared of you, man. Don't make me show you what I am made of. This guy must have forgotten what I did to Yemen. Unlike Yemen, I can actually defend myself from a coward like you. You're so scared right now. The only thing that scares me is my wife divorcing me and taking half of my money. Just make sure you sleep with an eye open. Well, you two have fun arguing. I'm gonna go to take a nap in the bedroom. Wake me up when it's time to leave this place. Make sure you watch out for the cum stains me and your wife left on there. You mean me and your wife? That's exactly what I said. No, you said you and my wife. I actually said me and your wife. Which translates to you and my wife. What is so hard to understand? I said me and your wife, not you and my wife. Bro, this guy is tiring. I'll go take that nap. Sorry, Sleepy Joe, but you're sticking with us. So why is that, Donald? I just want a nap. Because I said so. Now let's go to the Oval Office and see what changed. I'm seriously starting to hate this trip. Complain about it to your wife later after I bring her back from my place. I hope you choke on a cluck and bell chicken wing. Just like your wife choked, but not with the wing, if you know what I mean. I actually don't know what you mean. Well, I won't explain it. I think he's talking about his donger. Are we in one of Obama's dreams? Not that I know of. Well, that's crazy, because there is no way my wife is choking. With you little shrimp, I bet she doesn't. Want to see my shrimp? I'll take my pants off right now. We're good. Don't worry about that. I want to see it. Shut the f up, Obama. You don't want to see it. I'm telling you, man. And I'm telling you we came here for something else. You ain't fun at all. You can ask Michelle about my shrimp. She knows a lot about it. Yeah, she already told me about the pics you're sending her. Did she tell you about the pics she's sending me? You need to take those damn pills because she ain't sending any pics to you. Oh, so now you're trying to make me look crazy. Joe, you are crazy. You don't need any help for that. Let's forget about Creepy Joe and focus on this fantastic looking office. This place is indeed fantastic. As a matter of fact, I think I'm getting a little bit turned on by being in here. Okay, you need to chill for a second. Come on, Barack, don't act like this place doesn't make your little guy get up. It does, but you don't hear me talking about it, weirdo. Do you remember about those male strippers you snuck into the White House for your birthday? There is no evidence of that happening. There's no evidence because you had all of it destroyed. Nah, bro, you tripping right now. You were literally caught in 4K. I actually think these cameras only record in full HD. That's not the point. Listen, it's not what you think. Okay, then explain yourself. I'm listening. Me and Michelle were having a few problems at the time and I needed to relieve some stress. You could have just asked me, Barry. I would have gladly helped you get rid of some tension. Yo, what the hell? Stop being sus, Joe. Well, then why have friends if you can't suck each other off every once in a while? Just go back to being silent, you old fart. Hey, Donald, have you ever done it in the office? You mean if I ever screwed someone here? That's exactly what I'm asking. Bro, I screwed everyone from here, especially the Mexicans. Um, that's not what I asked, but whatever. Yo, Donald, are you having a boner right now? Oh, no, that's just my revolver sticking out. Why the hell did you bring a gun in the White House? What do you mean? I always have it with me. Why are you bringing this up only now? What? You had a gun on you all this time? That's right. I can't even take a shit unless I have one of my guns right beside me. Why the hell do you need a gun to go to the toilet? You never know. Anyways, can we leave now? There's nothing left to do. What about staying a little bit more? I actually agree with Joe on this one. If I knew you were this boring, I would have asked your wives to come with me, not you. As you once said, that's crazy, but nobody asked. You realize I'm the only one that can take you back home, right? Come on, don't be like that. He has a point, though. Like usual. I was talking about Joe. I guess you like it a lot here because I'm about to make this your home. But it already is my home. How can you make it my home if it already is? Just go back to being stupid, Joe. 
That's your job. Okay, I'm leaving you here forever. Well, if that means I get to be the president again, I'll take it. Joe, you are so old, you can barely finish this mandate, and you're thinking about a next one? Bro, there is not a single soul that would vote for you again after they saw you talking. That's not my fault. Uh, I usually read everything off my teleprompter, but that glitches sometimes and gets me lost. I bet that's exactly the reason. Anyways, are you losers ready? Yep. I'm telling you, that's why I stutter. Finally, I thought this trip would never end. This was the worst trip out of all we had. Joe, shut up and listen to me, because I'm about to blow your mind. Go ahead, Donnie. What day is today? Um, it's a Saturday. What date, not day, you deaf piece of shit? Oh, it's 1st of July. You know what that means? Um, it means you're stupid. No, you idiot. It means that in a few days, it's 4th of July. Holy moly, you're right. It also means you're going to have to build a grill so we can have a great barbecue. If you two idiots think I will spend 4th of July with two old sacks of shit, you're out of your mind. Obama, name a single friend of yours that's not me or Joe. Um. That's what I thought. So, Joe, get to building that and see you on the 4th. Yo, what the hell? I thought we're building it together. Are you losers ready to celebrate the most important holiday of the year? Halloween is in October, but I'm ready. Bro, I can't believe you are the president and say the Halloween is more important than 4th of July. Obama, nobody asked for your opinion, so keep it for yourself. I'll put chili powder in your diaper. Who are you talking to because there's nobody here wearing a diaper? First of all, that's Cap. You know you're wearing diapers all the time. And second of all, shut up and listen to me because I prepared something for today. What did you prepare, fatty? Just a couple of fun activities. First one is called, Who Can Make Michelle Come the Fastest? Keep me out of that because I ain't sleeping with men. Yes, you are. Yes, I am, but not with Michael. I actually made a little game too. This one is called, Guess how many years is Donald spending in jail? That's crazy. Anyways, did you build that grill I told you about in the last episode? Oh, yeah. And I also built a pool next to it so we can chill. And where the hell did you build it? Right here. Right here where, you stupid piece of shit? Oh, right next to my house. Yo, what the hell? This wasn't here a second ago. I know. I, I just have this power to make things appear out of thin air. No, you don't have that power. Okay, I don't. And where is that pool you were talking about? Well, I made it, but then I remembered about that one time when I almost drowned back in the day and I took it out. There is no way you are this stupid. Nah, I'm just playing with you losers. Here's the pool. Yo, what the hell? How did you do that? I told you I can make things appear. Can you make some top models appear to our party? Only if they are 15 or less. Hell nah, forget about that. Bro, you are seriously mad. Okay, so I really prepared some activities for us. Um, now that Joe really built that grill, we need some meat to put on it. I guess I'll sacrifice and put some of my meat. It's too big anyways. Not that kind of meat, you idiot. Oh, you should have said so. So the first activity is to go hunting like our people used to back in the day. Bro, that was hundreds of years ago. I'm so down. I was born a hunter. You have never seen such agility and capability to find and secure the prey. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Is there a prize involved or something like that? I'm glad you asked because there actually is. So what is it? Well, I can't tell you right now. You're going to have to wait until after the hunt. Yo, come on, guys. When are we leaving? I'm ready. By the way, the goal is to get the meat of five animals. Whoever does that first wins. Okay, let's go. I'm about to win this one, losers. Well, that's too bad, because I just made my last kill, which makes me the winner. Yo, what the hell? I wasn't even close. There is no way you didn't cheat again. This is one of these moments when I am actually happy this thing was recorded. Can you just take the L, Donald? Obama, you might be used to L's, but I'm only used to W's. Except this one and that time when I wiped the floor with you in the elections. Let's not talk about your rigged bullshit again. Anyways, what did I win? You just won the game. I mean, what's the prize? Oh, I didn't think about it, to be honest. Uh, I was hoping you would come up with some ideas. I say the winner gets to spend a night with the other's wives. Yo, I thought you don't want to sleep with Michael. Okay, you're right. I'll stick to just Melania. I have a better idea. That's close to impossible, but let's hear it. The winner gets banned from the server. It looks like somebody got mad. If you can't think of anything smart, why don't you let the people watching comment down below what the prize should be? Yeah, that's a good idea. But don't go too crazy since Joe is the winner on this one. You guys already know what I want, so make that happen. So I guess the most liked comment wins. That's exactly how it works, Obama. So now that we clarified that, let's go make that barbecue because I'm starving. I am the master here, so I'll be the cook today. Just make sure you make some of those chicken wings. 
Don't worry, I got you. And a big fat steak for me. How do you like your meat, Joe? In Obama's mouth. F you loser. Good one, but not that meat. Oh, sweet and spicy like your wife. Unseasoned and burnt, got it. So what was that other thing you prepared for us today? I was wondering if Obama can show a little bit of his boom boom specialty. You know I'm a specialist when it comes to that. That's exactly my point. So can you set up a fireworks show for the end of the episode? Oh, I thought of something else, but yeah, I can do that. Oh my God, he was thinking about bombing something again. Shut the hell up, Joe. What would you have thought? About your wife, shut the hell up and go set up those fireworks already. Here is your chicken and here is your unseasoned burnt beef, Joe. So you decided to make it like his wife, not yours. Interesting choice. Bro, this guy woke up and chose violence. He might have forgotten about his pills, though. Yeah, that could be it. Anyways, this would be a great time to tell you about the next activity. What about taking a nap instead? Shut up, Sleepy Joe. So we're going to have a joke contest, and the theme is America. That's all I ever wanted to do. Really? Nope. That's really crazy, but we don't care at all. Just as much as I care about your stupid game. What about going back to being stupid, Joe? Oh my God, you got yourself a deal. Really? Nope, I can't believe you fell for it literally five seconds later. Donald, can we kick this loser? Obama on my screen, he's wiping the floor with you. Well, that should be really familiar to you, Donald. Okay, we can kick him. No, wait, don't kick me. You better give me a good reason not to do that. I'll play your stupid game. Well, that's good enough for me. Who goes first? Wait a second, does this have a prize too? Um, no, this is just for our ego. And do we vote like we did last time? No, this time the people watching this video will vote in the comments, and the one who has the most votes until next episode wins. But you already asked them to do something. Well, I'm doing it again, so shut the hell up already, because you're getting annoying. Can I please go first? Of course not. So what do you call someone that will work hard for reasonable pay and never whine? Good question. An immigrant. I was about to say Obama, but I guess that's the same thing. You're damn right, Joe. Does that joke count? Obama, that is the stupidest thing I heard come out of your mouth. Just move on and say your joke. Okay, so what happened when the American broke his arm? What happened? He went broke. You know, because it's expensive. Yeah, we got it. It just wasn't funny. Get ready because I'm about to tell you the most American joke possible. I somehow doubt that. Knock, knock. Who's there? Joe. Joe who? Joe Biden. How is that American? Bro, I am literally the president. Bro, that's, you know what? I'll allow it. Of course you allow it. You always do as I say. There's only one Biden I listen to and she's not in this call. Oh yeah? And where is she? Probably in the White House. Well, she's not here. Sorry about that, Joe. I'll bring her back as soon as we're done here. You better keep your hands away from her. Well, it's a bit too late for that, but don't worry. She's all good. Happy to hear that, Obama. I could do this every day, Donnie. Now that we established who the better Biden is, let's continue with the final round. Okay, I go first. Roses are red, violets are blue, Michelle makes me happy, and Melania does too. Again, the joke has nothing to do with America. Shut up, Donald. The first one really did. Oh yeah? Okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? The biggest idiot on this planet. The biggest idiot on this planet who? Joe Biden. Pretty weak if you ask me. Good thing I'm not asking. Okay, my turn now. What do you call a bee that lives in America? What do you call it? A USB. This is the worst joke I've ever heard. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I agree with you, Joe. Can I say another one considering my jokes were complete garbage? Yeah, go ahead. What is a Mexican's favorite sport? What is it? Cross country. Obama, that was a solid 10, good job. Thank you, Donald. I knew you're gonna love it. Yeah, now go make that fireworks show for us because it's getting late. Yo, what the hell? It was day a second ago. That's just my superpower, Joe. Um, Joe, can you help me with that? Bro, I have no idea what you want to do. How could I possibly help you? You use some of that magic and make it appear out of thin air. What part of I have no idea what you want to do, don't you understand? I'll just pass it to you telepathically. Bro, that's not... Holy sh**, you did it. Well, this is my superpower. There is no such thing as a superpower, Barry. Then how do you make things appear? Watch this. How the hell did you do it? Obama, you are so stupid. He is the one who edited this video. Yo, why did you tell everyone my secret? Are you ready for the show? I'm always ready. Here we go. Happy 4th of July, losers. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July to everyone watching. Yo, losers, 
I've got some news. Want to hear them? This isn't a good time for me, actually. Why not, Joe? Unlike you two, I'm the president of the United States, so I have things to do. Trying to stay awake and remember you run the office isn't that hard. I'm busy, too. Michelle is writing a new book, so I got to do things around the house. You're both such babies. Do you want to hear the news or not? Only if it's good news. I don't get a lot of those. That's what happens when you're the president. Last time we asked people to suggest what prize Joe should get, remember? Yeah, I remember. I don't. Are you sure that happened? You need to change your prescription, man. That loss of memory is getting annoying. I still remember that I won the elections against you. Good one, man. Anyways, do you want to know what people chose? Since when are you interested in what people choose or want? You're really hitting my nerves today. Barack, you should hit on his wife, not his nerves. Joe, you might not remember, but I'm married and so are you. You're right. Don't tell Jill about this. What did people choose, Donald? Besides having a dweeb as president? Well, we had three major suggestions. All right, let's hear them. So the third most voted was, winner gets to smooch Trump. Oh, hell yeah, I'm down. Can this be the winner? Be careful because someone suggested to ban the winner and I'm starting to think that is a good idea. And what was on the second place? So the second most voted comment was, the prize for Sleepy Joe is a big ice cream cone. That is the best idea I have ever heard. Oh my God, are you really excited about that? Yes, I actually am. Then I'm really happy it wasn't the winner. I don't know why it didn't win. I'm sad now. Yeah, just like all the Americans who voted for you. Your lack of ambition is disgusting, really. Come on, tell us which comment won, because I'm dying to know over here. Okay, so the winner comment was, whoever wins gets to add one special person to the world. You know what? The ice cream idea is fire, but this one sounds a lot better. Who are you adding, Joe? If you put Kamala here, I'm leaving. I would never put Kamala in here. She scares me. Good to know. So who's the lucky one? Just wait for it. You're going to love it. Hi, guys. How are you doing today? I'll just build the stupid ice cream since you were so happy about it. Did you just ban Melania? Joe, shut up and tell me where you want your stupid ice cream. Are you having problems at home, Donald? You can tell us. He's been having problems everywhere, Joe. Especially in your relationship. You mean in your relationship, not mine. In yours, actually. Me and Michelle don't get along as good since I found out she is a man. We keep talking about that, but is it true or is it Cap? It's definitely Cap, Joe. You really think I would marry a man? I mean, it's 2023. Anything is possible. Obama, I dare you right now to send me a picture with Michelle pregnant. I can't do that. She doesn't want to be seen like that, and I respect her decision. That's because everyone knows she wears the pants in your relationship. What are you talking about? Your wife owns you. And we're past that period. I think Joe just reconnected. What do you mean? I never left. Oh, never mind. So how do you want your stupid ice cream to be? I want it to be majestic, just like my actions as president. That's an early sign of dementia, for sure. Anything else? I know you love to build things, so I'll leave this to you. I love building walls and towers, not stupid ice creams. So I'm going to need Obama's help for this one. That's not what people voted, so you're going to have to do it alone. But it's exactly what I chose, and that's the same thing. That's not how democracy works. And that's why Michelle is wearing the pants. Guys, it's your president speaking. I've made a final decision. Just get on with it. I want it just like your crown, Donald. Everybody wants what I have. My money, my fame, my wife, everything. Yeah, especially your crazy hairdo. People love that, too. Come on, hurry up with that ice cream, because I don't have all day. Stop bossing us around and shut up. Okay, losers, the ice cream is ready. Come see it. What the hell? Why is it upside down? Because I decided to make it flavored your favorite. That's not my favorite at all, I swear. That's the flavor that comes to mind when I think about you. I think it matches, don't you, Barack? What's the point of voting if you do what you want anyways? That's just a stupid question to ask, Donald. You're right, Joe. If Joe didn't decide to bring my wife here, we could have done that. Yeah, Joe, what were you thinking? The comment said to bring a special person, so I did. Yeah, but how is Melania special to you? Everyone knows me and her have a special thing going on. I think Joe forgot to wake up and he's still dreaming. You might be right on that one. I'm not dreaming, losers. I'm wide awake and speaking facts. Bro, there is no way you could win Melania's heart. That wouldn't be the first thing I would win against you. Shut the hell up with your rigged elections. I wonder why she married you. How is it not obvious? I swear to God, even a 12-year-old would see why she married me. Okay, that's actually true. I still don't get it. When is the last time you Googled my fortune? Oh, you mean she married you for your money? No, Joe, she married me for my big dick. So what does that have to do with your fortune? 
Donald, if it was for the big dick, she would have chosen me. You might be right on that one. I can't argue. So was it for your donger or for your money? Someone explained to this guy why she married me because he's too stupid to understand. I'm not wasting my time. Then maybe someone in the comments. Can we add back Melania? Hell nah, you got your stupid ice cream cone. Now shut up and move on. Why did you make it upside down though? Because I'm pretty sure you drop every ice cream you get and on top of that, if you look at it upside down, it actually has the shit on it too. Bro, I would break my neck if I would turn my head like that. Oh no, please do it. Joe, you are literally the editor. Just flip the image. Damn, Obama. You're right. I forgot I can do that. Yo, what the hell? Are you saying my house is the shit? That's exactly what I'm saying. In this case, you should have built it on top of your house. Mine is more like vanilla, if I'm being honest. Okay, you're right on that one. At least he kept his promise, Joe. I wish Melania was still here to see what the fat guy did. Well, too bad she got banned. That was not nice of you. And that's not the only band she's getting tonight. Look, man, I don't know about Joe, but I'm not particularly interested in that part of your life. I definitely am. I wasn't talking about what you think, though. Oh, then what was it about? I'll ban her from using the credit cards. She might want a divorce after that. Anyways, you guys should appreciate that I kept my promise as usual and built the ice cream. Like when you promised to bring down the price of the prescription drugs? Yeah, or when you said you would cut taxes. I don't know what you're talking about. Seems like Joe isn't the only one with memory issues. Why didn't I just go to the golf club today? Trust me, I regret that too. We would have had a great time without you. I actually had an accident, so I couldn't go. What happened? I accidentally tripped and fell right between your wife's legs. Bro, that joke is older than America. I really thought you had an accident. I actually had one. It was a situation with my tie that got stuck and I- I know where this is going. I've seen it before. It's not one of those things you watch when you're alone, Joe. I see you still wear gigantic ties. They look good on me, what can I say? Look who's the one dreaming now. At least I don't wear stupid sunglasses. They make me look younger and more approachable. They make you look stupid. Jill loves them. Maybe because they hide your glossy eyes. I'm pretty sure that's not how eyes should look like. The first time I noticed it, I thought Joe was zooming in and out, but then I realized it was a health condition. Kamala had the same thought. Tell Kamala to pack her shit, because I'm going to destroy you in the next elections. I think you should give people more credit, Donald. There is no way somebody will vote for him again. Did they even vote for him the first time? Are we talking about me or about Joe? Yo, have you talked to Hillary lately? I don't talk to monkeys. I was talking to Obama. I haven't been doing much lately. Michelle keeps me busy. How is he keeping you busy? She's writing a new book and the Jimmy Fallon show is taking a lot of time. How does that keep you busy? Someone needs to do the cleaning around the house. Why don't you hire someone? We want to teach valuable things to the girls. I could teach them something valuable. Oh my God, Joe, just stop talking. Did I say something? What else do you do around the house, Obama? Every time she goes on the show, I have to iron her clothes. What the hell, man? Do you iron Jimmy's clothes too? Of course not. He has assistants. Well, so does Michelle. Shut up, Donald. You both shut up. I can't concentrate. Concentrate on what? That's what I'm trying to remember. There is no way I'm playing with such an idiot. You lack empathy, Donald. And you lack intelligence, Joe. I also lack patience. Now that's something we have in common. Do you guys think I need new friends?